for me is, is what Vasco did on Hidden Forts and he went full boom, but that was when that was when the games were behind closed doors. So now at this point, Gashimata might be aware of that possibility. But he's got Saracens high up there. I don't know, dude. I want to see Tootin's apparently Hidden Forts again. Oh, here we go. We're here. All right, ladies and gents. Welcome to the first semifinal in Hidden Cup 5. Thank you, everyone who's played it's their part. Whether it's those of you that have been live with us over the last seven days uh, or, or people who are watched later on in the future, this has been the best Hidden Cup so far. There's no doubt in my mind, there's a lot more confusion on who these players might be. But both of these players have the skills to take it all here. We've got Gajimata in the red playing as the Poles. And we have Vasco da Gama in the blue playing as the Magyar Stave. Yeah, and we saw this exact same Civ matchup in the last set that Gajamata played. They were up against Magyars. Magyars absolutely slaughtered them on land. Now, Gajamata has come forward early trying to find those water buffalo. Not going to find it. Barely missed them on the other side. What Gajamata did the last time around was go for a dock extremely early and try and get the mm -hmm. demo ships in on the wood line. What they didn't uh, do is go to stone early enough, it feels like, and get those towers down to defend themselves. What also didn't happen is that Gajamata didn't lose a villager to a rhino underneath the TC. Oh, and we we game. just assume no. those things don't happen. And I mean, I'm also seeing Vasco's scout is a little bit weak. So I'm not sure exactly what the situation was there. I, we jumped in relatively close to the start. Maybe that scout just it, ran into Gajamata's scout, but it definitely seems like if you can I mean, click the elephant carcass, maybe it'll show if it has a kill there. Yeah, it, I mean, I think what happened, the scout definitely didn't kill the Ville. Elephant um, did. And that yep. elephant, elephant does have a, a, a kill. What happened might have been that Vasco tried to run in towards the TC while Gajimata was luring that. And then Gajimata garrisoned everything except the villager that was being attacked by the elephant. And there was just yep. too much going on at the same time. And they lost the Ville. It's an unfortunate start. Um, it now Now, hear me out. Because you're going to be like, how could this be an advantage? It might be an advantage for Gajimata in that, okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Let me cook. In that he needs to play super defensively now, which means yeah. more walls, more towers, maybe going out to stone earlier, right? Maybe going for a barracks first instead of the dock into increased spearman production, maybe even an archer range defensively, which could benefit the poles because I don't think you're going to match the level of aggression that comes out from the Magyars. Yeah, I mean, and the other thing is too, you win this game, then it's like, oh my God, I won this game and I was a complete noob at the start. This is incredible. Yeah. I'm going to stomp this guy. So it's a big confidence boost. You lose the game. If you think losing that villager is bad, which it's, it's not great, let's not going to lie. Then you have that excuse in your mind of, well, I should have lost because I wasn't moving at the start. I mean, we'll see, getting ahead of ourselves here. But back to what you had said, Gajimata was very early to dock uh, the last time he played this map. And both players will have been able to have seen what their opponent's build orders were in those games. They will have seen the strategy, they will have an idea now how the opponent prefers to play. So. I'd be curious to see how Vasco preps his walls right now. He's looking to be on the offensive with his scout. And it's definitely going to be a scout rush from him. There's no doubt about it with Magda. Yeah, and there's a there's a barracks already coming up from Gajimata. We don't see the dock that we saw earlier from him in the previous set. And this scout activity, I mean, so active here from Vasco. He's just tracking everything and going for a wall, a fairly greedy one at that in the back there as he waits for feudal age to drop that stable we're gonna try and get the mic situation figured out everyone as vasco now goes for that stable remember magyars now have forging such patience here with the scout from gajamata until he gets to the feudal age himself he's got the villagers covering for him <laughs> he's hiding behind the foragers there on the berries and he's finally in feudal so he can push this back and he'll go for some spearmen of his own and a stable of his own as Vasco tries to take this fight, but Gajimata should have enough HP. No, Vasco with the hill advantage and forging. You got to be careful here. You oh. don't want to lose that starting scout. I assume I'm not underwater anymore. Apologies. I forgot my my uh, life raft. Um, Vasco is going for the full wall, Dave. Does that surprise you? I, it's, it's just very comfortable 
right? It's just extreme levels of comfort because he has the scout forward and he knows that God Yamada's attention is completely fixed on that scout uh, at the moment. And he, he knew mm -hmm. exactly what the timings were. He also, if he went in towards that TC with the scout earlier, he also might have known that his opponent lost a villager. Maybe he saw yeah, that. Maybe. If, if my theory was correct. You do have this window here with your mag, where you're the Magyars, where your aggression is so much stronger. Having the cheaper scouts, having that forging upgrade is no joke. And he sees that mm -hmm. full work and says, you're not going to farm. Like, I'm not going to allow you to have an easy farm game yeah. because he knows the poles can catch up or get a big lead economically if they do have that easy time. Now, here's a quick wall oh. attempt here from Gajamata. Now, one of those scouts is weak, but there's another one on the way. Gajamata needs to get some walls down here. This could be dangerous. He hasn't done so yet. He's got scouts all around. And it just feels like this pressure right now from Gaja, uh, sorry, from Vasco de Gama is way too strong for Gajamata to deal with. Gajamata is running into exactly the same problem he ran into against Otto. He tried to afford the first wood upgrade and horse collar because of poles, right? Yep. And now he has no food. So even though draw, uh, making the farms and dropping off that food is nice, he was really, really delayed. He couldn't get the scouts on the field. He couldn't get the spearmen. This game's already over. Like, it's already done. I mean, before he even said that, it was like a 7-0 KD. And Vasco de Gama ready for the finals already, it seems. I mean, this guy has stomped everybody so far. And now he's going to find two more vil, vil kills. And yeah, again, like we said, it's like poles so risky. This is against Vasco, mm -hmm. who has been so aggressive. Disaster of a start here for Gajamata. I do have to say, um, as we could maybe speculate on what could have gone different here, if you've got two berry positions, you can't go for the forward berry position and try and farm there, right? The other berry yeah. positions behind, I'm not saying he would have avoided this damage, but it certainly feels like he didn't do as much to, to help himself with how he decided to farm on the front like this. Yeah, I mean, Gajamata is going to play on. Uh, there are still comeback. There's comeback mechanics here, notably demos, if you want to go for those, right? Especially if you go for a sneaky dock or something, try and get a demo in on the wood line. You could catch up with the six villagers that were killed in an instant. However, the farming eco is already there for Vasco da Gama, and he's still tracking exactly what Gajamata is doing. I'm just surprised that Gajamata has gone back to this exact same approach yep. uh, that lost him in a game in the previous set. And obviously the start wasn't optimal, but still you're, you're letting your enemy know exactly what you're doing by building everything at the front here within vision of that skill. I think if you're like poles in general, <clears throat> it's like if you can survive the early wave, your sieve feels OP, right? But if you can't survive the early wave of attack, your sieve feels yeah. awful, right? So, uh, I, I, again, the level of preparation's probably been insane from Gashimata. And so the we haven't seen a game yet where the polls actually, you know, do well. But I, I think, really, at the end of the day here, just Vasco's chosen the simpler civilization for him. He had a really nice uptime. And this is like every low elo player out there has been up against a Magyar Scout Rush and has felt the same feeling where oh, like boy. by the time, you know, you're ready to play, you've already lost enough, uh, too many villagers. And I got to say, Dave, we've speculated a lot on who Gajamata is. I think of the top four, it's maybe the most difficult to guess. There are some players who simply refuse to resign, especially ACCM! in big moments. And, yeah, uh, this you know, kind of feels like an ACCM situation right here. <laughs> like an ACCM or a right. yo? ACCM or a yo, which means everyone's been wrong. Like, where, where's Tato? Who, who is Tato? Is Tato Kozrao? Is Tato Vasco? But yeah, it's really hard for us folks to, uh, to really hype up that there's a comeback potential here when it's hard to see one. The res collected difference insane. Vasco's just continuing to pick off the spears, and he is attacking a farm I mean, at right some now. Point, at some point in the game, maybe he could come back to 24 villagers where he was before. Yeah. The other thing, too, I, don't know if that's uh, I, am, I am very experienced at getting smashed in the first game, so let me tell you, sometimes you just got to play on to get warmed up, right? This is live. There's a lot of pressure. There might be nerves he's trying to work his way through.
And so I think that's probably part of why we saw him play on a little bit longer. The GG's called. Not a very close game. Vasco da Gama wins the first game of the semifinal. I, I don't like Poles here uh, against yep. Magyars. And you have to know your opponent's going Magyars. Like, you you just go up to the feudal age, and then you're trying to take advantage of those farms. But you have it feels like you have to get horse collar, and then you can't afford more than one scout, and then you can't afford the spearmen, and then you can't afford any of the walls. It's just... How are you going to stop a player with good micro, with good execution, as we see the scouts come in once but, again, but just also sniping bills at will? The compounding effect here, though, was where the farming started, right? There's another berry mm -hmm. area on the back. And so I think that while I agree with your point that polls are really complicated regardless, this is just an open invitation. It's like, hey, come kill me. This is the most important area of the map. Did Vasco de Gama have to nerd out? No. Did Vasco da Gama have to switch positions? No, Vasco da Gama just went straight and found everything that Vasco needed. So that, that's the dream start here for Vasco da Gama. Gashimata also lost the villager to the Rhino. So I think we're seeing some the, the moment get to uh, Gashimata a little bit. And thankfully for yeah. him, he's got three home maps on the other side. And it's always going to be a long series here. Um, I, we don't know. I know we have a minute till we're in. So we should be in momentarily here. And maybe we could find out when the players are loading in what game it's going to be, uh, what map it's going to be, which helps our speculation here. But I can already tell you it's going to be Hidden Forts. I'm not even going to look at what the admin's now telling us. It's going to be Hidden Forts. 100%. Okay. 100%. Ajumata wants to slow I, I will down bet, a little bit. Yeah, you, you got to do it. You can't go evacuation or high tides after that. It's got to be Hidden Forts. No doubt in my mind. And if I'm wrong, people, I'll give 20 subs to the stream when I get a moment. I'm not being okay. told by anybody, the by the way. Begins. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Mapu is laughing at us. Mapu just says XD. <laughs> I think I might owe people some subs here, but yeah, we should just be a couple seconds away from hopping into game number two. Again, this is the live semifinal. I'm apparently going to be out of some cash here, uh, but Pay the support's up. been unreal. It's all good. <laughs> All right, so oh, this is no. Gajimara's home map, most likely, folks. They're the one that gets to pick. Uh, Vasco. Uh, well, I don't know if Gajimara is going to go for one of his home maps after losing so badly on game number one, which was the neutral map. We have High Tides Evacuation, Hidden Forts. T90 thinks it's going to be Hidden Forts. 20 subs on 100%. the line. 100%. I'd be shocked okay. if it's not. Oh, come on. All right, well, game number two. Pay up. Game number two here. Gajamata got brutalized in game one, let's be honest. And I thought maybe he would pick a closed map to settle it down. And people are laughing because I made a bet. And as always, I am wrong. Now, the very first pick for Vasco de Gama on the draft was Armenians. And I felt mm -hmm. like that was probably going to be saved for islands because so many people use the Armenians on islands. Instead, Vasco de Gama goes Armenians here, which he did do at one other point in Hidden Cup 5 this far. Give me your thoughts on yeah. Armenians on evacuation, Dave. Well, uh, we'll see, right? We'll see what he can cook up. Once again, he's luring in the boar with the scout. I can see yep. it on the minimap right now. Vasco yep. Yep. is bringing in that boar from the very long distance with the scout, which is something that he and others have been doing um, throughout Hidden Cup. As we see that finally get to the town center there. And he's got that one perfectly fine. You know Vikings, what's interesting is you really can't... good on island, so you can. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, it's fine. What's interesting about the bringing in the boar with the scout is it's not really something that the opponent can do to to stop it because you're there so quickly. They're not going to be able to deny that opportunity. And the downside is that the scout should be weak, but it's so efficient from Vasco. His scout never loses that much HP, so it's never been an issue mm -hmm. for him. And what he did every single time on evacuation, every single game with no variation was he goes galleys on water, he goes archers on land, he micros with both. So I'm expecting something similar here. Look at Gajimata. He's like, I know you did that. I know you did it again. I see your scout is weak right now. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to take his cow too. So Gajimata can kind of control this entire area and take all of those cows. Vasco is still getting one hit as he runs back, right? He's trying to get as much value as he possibly can with this scout. He's not just gonna um, 
run it back for free and let Gajimata have free reign over all of those mm -hmm. cows. And look at that. He immediately turns back. Immediately turns back to try and go get those cows. Interesting. And Gajimata's looking for him because Gajimata knows that scout is weak, but he's missed it. Yeah, those extra cows on the map could be really important here. Now, Byzantines, they have a really strong fire ship. So if there was a civilization for this map that could be strong... The, the fire ships patrolling around the seas, if you could call it the seas, would be really good here. Uh, I also think their late game is one of the best late games we have. So with that mm -hmm. in mind, too, it feels like, you know, patrolling the water with Byzantine fires, transitioning towards Castlage and then Imp, Byzantines could be really solid here. Yeah, I don't think Armenians can really do anything against Byzantines in the late game. I, yeah. Not many civs can, but especially here, if we get super late, Armenians are going to struggle. The scout from Gajimata is still being very active. Same with Vasco. And the cows are all heading home. And we saw how big <laughs> of a deal that could be. Kozra had so much extra food from cows yesterday. <laughs> Man, Vasco really wants to get those back, dude. You can I, tell. Listen, we, we thought about the water balance. We thought about the fish position. We thought about the starting resources. We thought about the boar and the berry positioning. The one thing we didn't think about was the cows. Like we had them out there, but I didn't think we'd have this cow meta in the semifinals here, which is precisely what we have here. So both players, maybe they saw Cosrail play and Cosrail is going to be in our next semifinal. And maybe they thought that this is something they have to do with their scouts. No, they both see that cow. They both want the cow, but Gacha Mata is like, man, I'm not letting you get away with this. I have four cows coming in. I'm going to chase you all the way home. And I know yep. that you need to run this time because your HP is so low. Doc for both crazy um, players here. And Loom is on the way from Gajamata, So he might be clicking up soon. I think Vasco will be clicking up as well with 20 villagers. It's also really interesting how Vasco always fights back. Right now, he's still yeah. two hits away from death here, but every time he's about to get hit, he ensures that he's also weakening his opponent's scout. If he didn't do that, worry about the he wouldn't have as much bonus, potential with walling. Attacking. And yeah, Gajamata sees that, and so Vasco will, will like, probably send his scout back out there. But obviously, those vills there for Vasco going out to the outside. We're going to have the evacuation now from Gajamata as well, as he is going to go to the outside. So both players will be there. The difference is the Armenian player makes a mule cart, which can kind of relocate and shift around, mm -hmm. which is really nice for efficiency. Every other sieve, ex well, except the Georgians, they have to go for the lumber camps and the mining camps, which is definitely a bit more awkward for them. Can we take a look under the town centers from them and see how many cows are left over? The Armenians True. can gather the, the hunt to the mule carts. Oh, we only have two goats. And okay. one being taken currently, and we look over at the other side from Gajamata. One, two, three, four, and I think another one on the way, and another one that's scouting in the corner. Yeah. So Gajamata could have a really, really solid uh, food base here, unless Vasco feels brave and runs under that TC as we've seen him do. Okay, now every game, Vasco de Gama did the same thing that he did here. He he went for the scout the scout battle, right? Uh, or sorry, he, he used mm -hmm. the scout against the boar, and he went for archers, and then he went for the uh, galleys. So Gajamata has looked had time to look at this and prepare something, and he is like, I don't want you to be able to have that comfortable play anymore. I know that that's yeah. strong. I'm going to show you something that you didn't see in the first two rounds, and it's going to be a forward here, Dave. So he's building up quickly with villagers coming forward, and he is going to try and pounce on Vasco da Gama's villagers. Oh, here comes the scout, dude. You can't. Should you be can't. Dead, this is it, 3 HP. Not with, not with Just, a 3 HP scout. Dude, okay, don't respect can't. it. Don't don't garrison the villagers. Don't respect it at all. If it comes near I mean, that it, you cow, can garrison, but... Yeah. yeah. That cow is going to take it's a long a time game. to get home, let's be honest. <laughs> and where Vasco, yeah. Vasco is focused right now is on the cow, and he's not focused on the fact his opponent's coming forward. This is going to be spears. This is going to be skirms. This is cheap Byzantine trash coming here from Gajamata. And yeah, and potentially a tower. And yeah, I mean, this is a strat we haven't seen, right? And Vasco is busy trying to queue, queue up galleys. He's going to try and kill the fish because he assumes the Byzantines 
are going to go on to water investment. But here come the villagers. Why not just use them as fighters <laughs> as well? Then you have spearmen, you have skirms, you have villagers fighting. The mule cart's like, I got to get out of here, but there's nowhere to go. The scout has higher HP, and that spearman is even laming the hunt on the other side. So really good opening here for Gajimata. He's taking all of the initiative on the land. And this is this will eventually add up. Right now, it's not really we weakening the villagers all that much, but eventually it will. And as both scouts go down, it felt only fair that that's going to be the case. A villager goes down as well for Vasco. It's just three idle villagers here for Gajimata. Those are the forward villagers. Oh boy. Plus, he has this army. And then for Vasco, he's got this whole woodline idled right now. And of course, they're still looking for resources elsewhere, right? There's still, mm -hmm. you know, maybe cows that players need. There's still the fishing ships. There's still the micro there. This is the energy that Gajimata has the potential to bring. And I love what he's doing right now. We'll see if it pays off, though. Yeah, it's a bold strategy. We'll see if it, uh, if it works out. We've got three galleys that have not come across yet from Vasco. As Vasco goes for the quick wall, but he can only quick wall so long. And Vasco is now hard committing to a tower. He's going to lose another villager. The tower will go up, but loses another vill. That's four villagers killed. It's an instant success on this forward here from Gajimata. However, the galleys are advancing on the water and they found the villager here from Gajimata. Gajimata will need to run away. The dock is denied. Yeah, these are Armenian galleys. These galleys can be really tough to stop. That's why the strategy is so strong before, is the galleys having the extra bolt. But economically, things are looking better for Gajamada. Now, what he doesn't have, Dave, is he doesn't have an archer range built up in an area to be able to easily protect himself because he's gone mm -hmm. forward with this. And as we see this aggression continue here, the tower is kind of protecting Vasco, and there's going to be an army headed somewhere, and this is untracked. Gajimata will not know this is on the way. He needs to make sure he has a tower defense. Gajimata has gone for a tower structures. somewhere, though. Like, yeah. the, the stone is gone, so I would assume it's on the wood line. However, he still has villagers exposed in his main base, right? Fletching yeah. is yeah. in for Vasco. Fletching's also in for Gajimata, and unfortunately, those two guys decided to go to the left side of the blacksmith for no particular reason. And yeah. one of them might I No, he saves him! No, it's dead. It's it's definitely dead. Vasco gets the snipe. Beautiful play. Also, a really nice decision from Vasco to go here. It's so tricky on this map. You don't know what direction players are going to go. It's also very difficult to somehow micro with galleys while also having all that pressure come in. But now it is Gaja's turn. And Gaja says, okay... Now I'm now I'm at your base, and now you don't have an army to protect yourself here. It's my turn to kill a bill, and unfortunately doesn't get the villager kill, and does also see the stable. So now he knows that Vasco is going to be thinking about adding scouts. Archers arrive, and the tower is up. Well played from Gajimata. Still four fishing ships alive for Gajimata. Five fishing ships alive for Vasco. He's managed to stop the fires from going over and sniping those fish. And the villagers were taking stone in the south, and now they're advancing towards that woodline. And I think it's a forward tower from Gajimata yeah. on that woodline from Vasco. Unfortunately, Vasco can just move that mule cart to another area. However, he can't move the tower that's yeah. protecting the mule cart. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, initially I thought Gaja was going to tower there, and I thought it was going to be weird against a mule cart civilization. But now that your opponent's committed to a tower, they're unlikely to leave that mm -hmm. area. So I do like what Gajimata is trying to do. And I, uh, in general, I think the strategy has made this very messy for Vasco, who's shown great micro throughout Hidden Cup. But that's a moment right yeah. there where distracted with three or four different things and suddenly a galley goes down. I mean, the galleys against fire galleys, especially against Byzantines, all it takes is for your attention to be somewhere else. And then yeah. you suddenly you look back and there's no units on your control group because you've lost them all. But look at this. His attention is everywhere. He's got a group of archers. He's micring the villagers in the south. He's micring the galleys but, up against the fire galleys. I, I see he's where's lost he going to go? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> he has nowhere to go. He can't leave this area because there's skirmishers waiting. And Gajamata knows, dude. Gajamata's like, you can't fit that many villagers inside the tower. And now the fires patrol it's it all now. Vasco is distracted. And everything is starting to fall apart it's on Vasco, as you said, Dave. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, he could, 
he could be the greatest player in the world and he might be at the moment but i mean if someone's putting this much pressure on you eventually you're gonna crack right the first scout has appeared we've still got skirms attacking these weak bills we now have villagers committing against that tower <laughs> And All archers right. coming along as well, and those archers aren't being managed anymore because his base is on fire. I don't know if I like this three weak villagers underneath the enemy tower situation here. I mean, I love the energy, don't get me wrong, but this this could backfire. There's not a lot of arrows being fired from Gajimata's tower behind mm -hmm. this because he doesn't have vills in it. And scouts come in for Vasco. And Vasco pushes this away. Vasco also is here with oh, archers. Boy. And Vasco has held on, Dave. Oh, and Gajamata might be regretting losing his army now. Look at the eco KD. Look at the eco KD. He definitely went in too hard there. He didn't need to send the villagers. He had the damage already. And yep. suddenly Vasco has the advantage once again. Oh my god. I mean, but it... It's such a crazy situation because Gajamata has the advantage on water and Gajamata can kill those fish and Gajamata still like, you know, if he makes it to Castle Age faster, could stabilize. I mean, I'm not ready to give up here on Gajamata. There's a nice fight. The wood situation, the outer resource situation is disastrous for Vasco. He's got like four vills there. Might and, lose vills on you know, the fish too. Look on the dock there. Yeah. Yeah, those vills will die if, Ga if Vasco isn't ones. paying attention. That's going to be a dead vill. She's dead. dead. Vils. Is he dead? No dead vills. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, come oh, on. Get it together. God. He didn't know, dude. He didn't think they'd be that weak. How? Wh why are we never so lucky, Dave? Why are we never so lucky? My villagers burn to a crisp every time. <laughs> my villagers Dave. are well done in that situation. <laughs> Castellage on the way for Vasco. Beautiful eco balance from Vasco da Gama. It has been so impressive. And I love how even if things got crazy, he was always counterattacking. I'm still I still think he's gonna have a migration problem. Like he's got a lot of his villagers where they started here. Oh and as we see Gajamata continue spirit, to have man. no chill. Um yeah. <laughs> which is I, I mean that's the best way to describe it. I don't know if this is the right play or or what another villagers on one hp but like if gajamata can click up to castle age and control the waters i still think mm -hmm. he's in a really nice position here yeah mule cart just chilling kind of distracting this army it's still only spearmen and skirmishers there needs a market needs a market yeah. there's 700 yeah. gold here well he has one already apparently and now he's buying the food all right so he's placed it he's buying the food he's gonna go up soon the villagers are now engaging once again against this army and it's another clear up there for vosco and vosco is going to have bloodlines he's gonna have the armor and he's going to have um some cavalry coming across the field to start hitting can that we, wood line from Gajimata. Can we look at Vasco's main eco at some point if we have a second? Like he's in a great spot, but I I think he's really running low on resources there. Like he's I'm got good. vills on some of the wood lines. Like that that is all going to disappear, and he's going to need to have control elsewhere. It's really important for him right now that he saves these archers so he can get the upgrades on them. Nice job from Gajimata to spot him, and this is huge. As long as he micros, he should be able to kill most of these archers. He has the armor. Here's going to yeah. be another archer dead. There's going to be another archer dead with the next volley. Another archer will go down with the next volley. This is huge, but gajimata has got a sense now that his opponent is going to have knights on the field. Yeah, and now you got to start walling up. Double tower is not terrible. Double tower is okay. Yeah, and then agreed. you can hide 10 villagers to get decent damage output there. I mean, Vasco is buying wood because the wood situation has been tragic, right? Half yep. of our attention has been on that area, um, half of this game for him. So it's understandable for sure. And now he's actually losing all of the fishing ships and his docks too. And Byzantines with some fish income, with, with some farms there, they could definitely make enough camels to deal with knights. When you think of Armenians... You don't really think of their strength with the knights. There go the fishing ships for Vasco. This is an even game. As uh -oh. long as Gajamata does not take big losses to this attack. And it's going to be difficult because he's got villagers everywhere as well. And the knights are going to find one villager pick. 
The Knights are actually underneath the TC. Could find more villager picks. He's diving underneath the TC to find the weak bills. And Gajamata actually yep. sends the weak bills into the TC there. Yeah, that was excellent play. But I mean, Vosco is like, I'm going to get value here regardless. Even if my yeah. Knights die, yeah. I'm going to continue yeah. to get value here. And he's killing more villagers underneath the town center. This does take away from his army mass, though. And now suddenly our Byzantines player is adding fish on the water because he's secured all that. He's going for a second town center to try and uh, catch up on villagers once again. He's only two behind. And then he's going for camels. So if you lose all your knights, if you lose all your archers, the Byzantine player will catch up an eco or surpass you really quickly. And then they'll and start spamming those cheap units. And what are you going to do against it? And you can't, there's no threat to the fish anymore for Gajamata. And he mm -hmm. can now control that crossing. And Vasco eventually is going to have to bring a ton of vills across the, the crossing there. Because he's only got like four or five here. So the, the name of the map is Evacuation. Vasco has been thinking, I'm going to kill this guy before it gets to that point. But the, the strategy yeah. from Gajamada to focus on the mainland has really worked out, in my opinion. I'm, I'm beginning to think that this is not Tato. There has been plenty of opportunities. Vasco has been going back and forth across the marshlands. He's had yep. the resources to add a demo. He hasn't done it yet. I know it's like a cliche thing for Tato to demo people, but if this was Tato in this situation, he would have at least one hovering around, just kind of waiting. I, I will I say that Gajamata probably made like 15 demos and sent them to the crossings in the earlier rounds of Hidden Cup, so I'm not yet ready to give up on the fact that this could be Tato. Um, it is true. Right now, when you have the leftover fires, they're already accomplishing a lot. It is just kind of mm -hmm. funny right now, like how Vasco is running out of resources, but then Gajamata can't engage against this Archer-Knight combo. So it's like one player has the outside, the other player just has the, the starting area, and both players are really struggling to find an answer right now. And I don't really know what that count. means. Look at the fish count now for Gajimata. Yeah. 13. Yeah. That's a really solid... That's not a solid eco, but that's a really solid eco on water. <laughs> However, yep. you need to evacuate this area at some point or go for a second TC <laughs> or something. He's going for a tower to help himself defend the farms, which uh, Vasco can't see. And he's discovered the second town center now. From I, I would really like to see um I would really like to see some knights mixed in with Gajamada's army. Because the opponent doesn't even have crossbow. If you had like four or five mm -hmm. knights mixed in with your camels, you could take the fight. I do not think mm -hmm. this fight is a good fight for him though, if he doesn't have some knights. And he should have the food income, but there's so many things happening here, and he's just trying to bait his opponent into those fire ships yet again here. And things are messy right now for both players for different reasons. Yeah, I'd also love maybe Bod Canero too, if you can afford it, right? And, and he's going to have yeah. 16 fishing ships, so he's going to have the, a lot of food coming in soon. Just to hit the Knights with the TC and with the tower. Like, it's going to add value here. The camel number, however, is getting up there. 32 on food now for Gajimata. And maybe instead of Bodkin, maybe you go for something like that plus two armor. So you can just dive underneath the town centers or dive against the archers. Big battle happening forward there. Camels on archers and the archers are still battle. getting value. That's Crossbow an awful battle. coming in. Oh, man. I wonder, I wonder if Gajimata took that because he didn't realize his opponent had Bodkin on the archers. So you yeah. assume if your opponent doesn't have Crossbow that they don't have Bodkin. But Bodkin was actually in and helping there. And maybe we'll see plus two armor come in for Gajimata thinking he needs more extremes. I mean, the, the worker count is amazing for Gajimata, but a lot of that is relatively inefficient fishing ships. And the, I mean, the mm -hmm. idle time's insane for both, but I just, is so impressed with Vasco how, I mean, we saw game one, his potential to kill quickly if things go according to plan. Things did not go according to plan here, and he's still been able to find really nice answers to what his opponent's sending his way. Yeah, Monk's forced to convert the fires just so Vasco can get some more villagers on the southern area if he wants to. But, I mean, there's three town centers down there now. Yeah. Three yep. town centers. Like, he's booming away. And all of his damage, basically, this game has been on that mainland as the camels finally come in here. Plus two armor is on the way for Gajamata. He will get a camel converted, and the Monk immediately hops in that fortified church. Oof. Nothing to be Oof. done down here.
If, yeah, that's that. I mean, there's there's TCs is, everywhere as well. It's like this is a bad day to be yeah. a camel, people. Underneath the TC fire is not where you want to be. Very condensed economy there for Vasco as he also goes for some beautiful quick walls to be able to complete this university. But again, worker count very even. Uh oh, are these, is this going to be a camel trap? Is there a gap there? I think it's going to be a camel trap. Gajamata it, yeah. is definitely not going to be able to escape now. Beautiful job from Vasco with the house. And uh, I imagine there's a monk on the way, Dave, to convert one of these camels. And we might see Gajamata choose to just delete these things. They are stuck Ugh. in the corner. You don't want to donate units to the enemy. Oh, man. That's that's so well played there from Gajamata. Yeah, and the knights are still hanging around. The crossbows are still here. Yeah. I... I you know, earlier on in Hidden Cup, I thought Gajamata might be Yo, simply because I didn't have a place to put Yo in my mm -hmm. bracket. There was nothing that was screaming Mr. Yo. A forward castle on these TC placements down here would be very Yo-like. The plus two armor for the camels would be very Yo-like. And there's the first demo for which coming player? out, looking for some value. <laughs> but there's a forward castle now from for Bosco player? coming forward. <laughs> Um, both players might be sending bills. This is about to get really crazy. Here comes Vasco, and he's going to drop the castle there that will likely complete. And here comes Gajamata. Okay. And Gajamata okay. says, you want a castle, bro? You want a castle? Listen. I'll give you a castle. <laughs> so many people would go for a defensive castle here to fight that yes. castle. Mr. Yes. Yo would say, no, 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 no. That's my thing. <laughs> I'm going to forward castle you because I know you're going to be distracted from your forward yeah. castle on yeah. me. And there it is oh, right there. He also knows that there's probably not enough stone, but Vasco could buy the stone. The deer! Move deer! There we go. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, what do you what do you do if you're Vasco right now? I think you have to go for your own, maybe? And mm -hmm. I don't know where you build it, but this is going to get really crazy. All of his TCs are right next to this castle spot. So when that castle's up, he could have some massive problems still. Oh, man. Camels with plus two armor, too. Imperial Age is on the way. Imp, Imp is cheaper for Byzantines, and he does have a lot of gold. He still has those oh, fishing we ships. we could have demos. Working way, too. We could too, have demos. Oh, those are camels are waiting. In. Sorry. But that should be okay. There's only seven crossbows for Vasco on the field. So these camels should be able to clear these knights. I don't think these knights are going to do coming a in. ton. And here comes the Ooh. demo. And if the demo hits the crossbows, this could be perfect. He hits the knights anyways, Dave. Not a bad situation for Gajamata right now. But Vasco da Gama is on the way to the Imperial Age, which is just unreal. I don't know how he's been able to macro his way to Imp amongst all of this. Now, does Gajamata buy another castle and put it in the south there? Doesn't really isn't really floating the gold necessary. He's kind of still committing on the castle age and still getting a lot of good damage up yeah. against the uh, the eco of Vasco, but still, it kind of feels like a situation where you don't want to queue up that much in castle age. You look at the go farming up eco for Gajamata. Like Gajamata has stayed <clears throat> there for so long. His farming eco everywhere is incredible. It's like I look around. Uh, there's Gajamata's farming eco because I think I misspoke, but Vasco de Gama has his farming eco flying, which has really helped mm -hmm. him catch up because he doesn't have the fish. Uh, castle here could be denied by camels, but it should just be temporary in my mind because camels do not kill villagers as quickly as knights. Vasco doesn't realize. Well, Vasco's losing villagers. Castle's being denied. Well, Doubt confirmed. Well, where is he busy? Like, where is he paying attention if not here? Is it a forward army again? Yeah, it looks like he's just trying to avoid the camels on that side. And Imperial Age yep. is on the way for Gajimata. And what we talked about earlier is the Byzantines against the Armenians late game. I mean, Armenians better finish this click quick, bro, because Byzantines have all the options to fight them. Plus, if you control water, you have Dromans that don't require chemistry. You can just instantly go for them and start ranging everything. I, like that castle. Look at that instance. castle. That castle is a castle that Vasco is placing because he has so little control over that crossing right now. That's the threat of demos. Yeah. That's the threat of fires that's forcing that castle. It's a good castle to place though. He's gonna make trebs as well from here. Now, he's gonna make trebs from both sides actually. So you know, there's a lot of things, of things happening, but there are 15 camels on the field for Gajimata. 
And there's no real easy answer to the camels right now, but I don't think Vasco seems to care about that as he's raiding the front. All of the villagers, it feels like, have been evacuated from that main area there yeah, from Gajimata. Yeah. So he's going he's going <laughs> to the, the left side. The composite <laughs> bowmen are coming in. I don't know if they do enough damage to the demos <laughs> to kill them. The demos are running away. They will get no value here, it feels like. No yeah. value. Yeah, no value. It looks like Vasco saw that. And so people speculating maybe... The great demo or Tata was Gajamata, but he didn't see it there. He does have this, and Vasco de Gama nice. loses a treb to a Manganel, so that is actually really nice there for Gajamata. Does have problems here, though. Uh, this is the first time that he's had problems here in a long time. Still bringing camels over. The knights are still going to go down, but now these composite bowmen? That becomes the complicated thing for Gajamata to defend from. Man, this game is so good. This game yeah. has been so, so good, especially after that first one. This is the game we expected, as Chemistry now is flying in from the University of Gajamata. Gajamata still behind on villager counts significantly. It does have those fishing ships, but they're getting less and less efficient with every the good news uh, here, fish that they take. Th there's a lot of negatives for Gajamata, but the good news here is that your Byzantines and your units are cheap. So yeah. um, he is going to go into to crossbowmen, which could maybe lead to him going for skirms. It does feel like, though, Vasco's always one step ahead with transitions. Like, he knows his opponent will go for range units. Like, he knows he needs yeah. some some cavalry mixed in. And so he's dropping the stables already. It's going to be light cav and composite bowmen here for Vasco, who's killed so much eco with this army. This army's been so strong and still no major reactions or defense for this from Gajimata at the moment. I think there was a demo on the crossing of those composite bowmen coming across towards his base. I think there was a demo by Gajimata because I was tracking a little uh, blue yep, group. There yeah, one. there was. There, there was a group of blue, Tristan, and then it suddenly just wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> it was only three, but it disappeared real quick. So the Armenians are, are new Civ. They haven't been around that long. And... People have talked about so many different things with them, but it really has been the unique unit, the Composite Bowman, that we haven't seen much of. And the, what the unit does is, it, it's a, an archer that ignores armor. So it's much better against skirms, much mm -hmm. better against like high armor things like a Huskarl, for example. But I, I think the damage output from the unit isn't that great. Ooh. So if it's Ooh. up against other Ooh. archers, or pound centers in this case, I don't know if the unit's that strong. So we're going to see the elite upgrade on that for Vasco. And Vasco is going to have other units here. But we've got a Bombard Cannon coming forward. This needs to be sniped if you're Vasco. And he's got the tools to get the job done here. Yeah, and he switched into Light Cav behind there. And Gajimata didn't realize he was doing that, yeah. right? So he's going to catch Gajimata off guard. Wasn't going Heavy Camel. Wasn't going Halberdier to counter these Light Cav. And even Elite Composite Bowman are coming in. So it's four Trebs, like have in front, elite composite bowmen behind this. Still only 100 vils versus 146. Wow, crazy what Vasco has been able to survive this game. Remember all the pressure that he received. This is not the type of game that he faced in the earlier rounds. He's had to go through so much more uh, adversity here and so much diversity from his opponent. I remember Vasco winning water every game he won in the first two rounds. But here in the semifinals, he lost it. And he's pushing back the Byzantines right now, Dave. I'm seeing upgrades missing for Gajamata. He doesn't have any relics collected. Here, he still has random villagers exposed. This is looking rough. Looking really, really rough. And now going into Arbalest, too. And it's just like, it, maybe the numbers were deceiving for him. He thought, like, constantly 30 on food, 40 on food. I have enough resources to make these transitions, but a lot of those were uh, ships taking shorefish. Yep. Just wasn't yep. there. And Vasco's eco was much more consistent. The eco upgrades were much better. The expansion was much better. And what a recovery here from Vasco. Man, after that start, I thought he was definitely done. Yeah, it was, it was so smart. You know, I think the strength of Vasco is actually why Gajimata felt like, even when he had a nice lead, I need to go so much crazier here. You remember mm -hmm. the villagers diving underneath the tower? 
that that felt like a throw for Gajamata, but the more I watched the game, the more I, I really felt like Gajamata understands his opponent's unreal, and he felt like he had yeah. to take it that much further there. Um, Gajamata, the the insistence upon, even when he was taking losses, the insistence upon moving to the opponent's base, and then the crazy thing for me is, and we didn't really show a lot of it, the amount of farming eco that he had around his starting TC was insane. Like, I thought, I'm waiting, right, for this mass migration to happen. I'm waiting for villagers to leave there. But no, he, he always had the eco set up with farms there. So that was actually that safe area for him. Very impressive. Got five relics or four relics at 1.2. I mean, going to be tough to break Vasco. He's lost one game the, entire, the entirety of Hidden Cup 5 for good reason. That's there. Here we are, game number three. So in round one, uh, Gajamata used the Saracens and won on this map, Hidden Forts, brand new map for this tournament. In round two, Gajamata won with Saracens on this map as well. And now in the semifinals, Gajamata is going to stick with what works and where he's comfortable. Now, Vasco da Gama went for Burmese in the only Hidden Forts game. I remember, I think it was Burmese Burgundians did pick Burmese on the draft here and actually goes for the Teutons, which is a pick that we have mm -hmm. to attribute to Otto the Great uh, as he did that in the first round of Hidden Cup 5. So Teutons, Saracens, wait a second, Gajamata actually played this exact matchup against Otto the Great yeah, in the quarterfinals, right? Yes, he did. Pretty, he did play this yeah. exact matchup, and the Teutons did not cut through. He didn't cut through either. And then the Teuton yep. player saw that he didn't cut through because he scouted the base. Otto cuts through the middle and then goes for an aggressive push in the front side of his base through yep. the middle where he wasn't interested in scouting at all. So I wonder if now these games being played live and knowing the history of how this Civ matchup has played out, both of them will know that. Um, mm -hmm. Do you now force the middle if you're Vasco? And if you're Gajamata, do you attempt to cut through there a little bit earlier than you did previously? Yeah, it's tough because right now they, they feel the need to scout. They're going to push in some Zebra. Like, they don't really get the intel now uh, that we have, right? We know that Gajamata is not cutting towards the middle, for example. I think, you know, Vasco da Gama showed me that you can't just avoid the player in the middle all the time. I thought that if you didn't cut through to the middle, that you could be okay and they can't come to you because the wood line is, is a natural wood line. You can get the relics and you can take your time. But Vasco da Gama, he solved that by going Onager and when he was playing Burmese and he cut through to the enemy. So I, I um. You know, what about this, Dave? If you think your opponent is going to be rather uh, central focused here, what about pushing them in Castle Age on the outside? Like, the main golds are pretty exposed here. So I could see a push, maybe, on the outside. Like, a feels weird against Teutons, but maybe, like, Monk Siege push or, or Cav Archer Crossbow Siege. Maybe that does it. So at least Vasco is receiving some damage somewhere. It is a possibility, but then you weaken your eco, right? And you're not taking yeah. advantage of any of the free resources that they're going to get in the middle. And this is immediately different from what Otto was doing with the Teutons both times he played them. Vasco is adapting, and Vasco is actually cutting through to the middle as quickly as they can. I saw two of those villagers on that second layer of tree, which mm -hmm. is something that Otto avoided, right? Still went for the lumber camp in the center, but was manually clicking the only the first layer of trees so that he didn't cut through right so we've been on the player fog here for the first couple of minutes but the reward is in there right and they're gonna have to scout it out we've got the gold in the middle we've got the rhino in the middle uh, rhinos excuse me in the middle there's multiple so um i feel like actually we're a little unfortunate for vasco he's gonna have to scout a little bit to find one there's not one that naturally next to his wood line but he's probably gonna bring his scout through Find at least one, and I'm curious to see how many he chooses to take because we've seen players take way more than I was ever expecting. I thought it would be just like one extra one, but he mm -hmm. here he goes. He's not, <laughs> the Age of Empires gods have blessed guys out of here. He's like, where where are the rhinos at, dude? Like, are there no rhinos? Here we go, one, dude. Okay, he's gonna bring in two at the same time. Oh, okay, oh, oh, all right. This could be a traffic jam, dude. Okay. This could be a traffic jam. Okay. 
This okay. is the... Okay. Oh my, oh my All god, right. man. All right. Uh, careful, careful, careful. Careful. This, this could still be bad. That one's pretty weak. He oh, house it. Now he's got to shoot it again. Now he's... The rhino is there's blocking no the other bill. The rhino's blocking Bro, there's the no other way bill. that he actually does this. Like, <gasps> it, okay. <laughs> On paper, you should never lose villagers against rhinos or elephants, right? On paper. Ooh. And pros should never do that either. But that was so incredibly technical, what he just did. I challenge <laughs> you to go try and do that. On this map, you can download this map through the mod pack. I challenge you to go try and do that yourself and, and see if you lose less than four villagers. <laughs> Dude, the HP on the bills is not good. Like those bills, <laughs> those bills are struggling under there. But, you know, in Age of Empires, it doesn't matter if the villagers are traumatized. They're still going to work just as efficiently. So, yeah, I mean, I would have I would have probably waited with one of the bills mm -hmm. an extra 20, 30 seconds. That way they're not bumping into each other. But yeah, he may, definitely made that look easy. Now, in the next stage is Gajamata. And Gajamata is looking to see, Gaj did my opponent well, cut through Well, he already knows he's cut here. through because he sees those rhinos. He already knows he cut mm. through. He saw okay, two rhinos yep. underneath the Oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, if he doubles back there, Dave, he could kill he's that gonna villager. He's going to see it in his he fog of see the rhino. He can see the rhino. He can see the rhino. Huh. Oh, no. How do you get yourself out of this one, Vasco de Gama? It looks like he... Oh, oh, God. He went back, and the rhino is is not going to kill the vill, but the scout kills the villager, and the scout for Gajamata goes down. And the rhino... That rhino's like, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested in what you're selling. <laughs> Slams door in face. <laughs> Unless you shoot me with an arrow, I am not mad, says the rhino. Yeah. And Gajamata now, at least we'll feel like he did something, but I do wonder if he's... I'd rather I mean, have he can't scout. be happy he lost his scout. That That is never a good yeah, thing. Yeah, I'd rather have this to lose scout, your scout like that. To be honest. But yeah. I... Oh, actually, he went into a stable. So that is kind of an acceptable loss. Mm. If, you, if you have the ability to make more, right? The, the bad thing about losing your starting scout is you can't really track how your opponent is expanding. But if you have a stable, it's fine. Okay. okay, so Vasco doing essentially the same thing that he did when he played with Burmese. It's Fast Castle and then into the middle where he's going to drop TCs. Now, when he was Burmese, he didn't have to research the wood upgrade he just researched. But he also didn't have the cheap farms the Teutons have. He didn't have the conversion resistance. But the expectation here is that we are going to see Vasco drop TCs towards the middle. And here comes another scout from Gaja. Honestly, if I'm Gaja Mata, I'm running through. If that's open, I'm running through, yeah. seeing if I can find a weak vill, seeing what I can find. You can always make a new scout. I get not wanting to lose a scout, and maybe it's a little too desperate, but against this Vasco da Gama guy, I I'm trying to do something to disrupt him with my scouts by running through there. Mm -hmm. Now, do you try and open it up now that Vasco is fully walled at the back? Do you now try and open up that wood line for Gajamata? Or do you want to leave that closed for as long as possible? See, this is where I this is where I don't know. Cause I, I think if you open it, it gives potential for Vasco to push. Like so mm -hmm. if anything, my thinking is still, since you know where the main gold is, actually bring like a villager or two forward and just try and pressure the outside. Like tell Vasco if you want to take the middle, go ahead, but that's the only place you're gonna be this game. If this is Mr. Yo. I feel like a siege workshop on the side of Vasco's base would not be surprising at all. Mm -hmm. I think yep. that would be a, a very Mysterio type of strategy. He's still looking to click up to the castle age, though. And I mean, Vasco's going to be there so much quicker with yep. yeah, two extra PCs is likely so on the way. Remember, he did this before and it, it was something that was hidden. Now, at this point, Gajamata would have been able to see the games, know that Vasco did it before, and, and Gajamata is still sticking with what he was comfortable with in the past. There's a second TC, there is the uh, third TC, and then the wood upgrade immediately for Vasco. Gajamata is still two and a half minutes away from Castle Age. This has to be Siege. You have to kill something with something mm -hmm. you can't go middle so there's gonna have to be some action on the outside in my opinion from gajimata here yeah i'm not seeing those villagers coming forward yet though not seeing them at all i mean maybe it's 
You know what it could also be? Is use the market to boom strategy. It could yep. also be, yep. okay, you're going to add two more town centers. I'm going to add four extra town centers. And I'm going to go five TC boom or something outrageous along those lines. But, he, I mean, he already he already sold the stone. So, well, he'll know. he'll it's probably buy the way. stone back for the TCs. Like, you're absolutely right. He's going to buy the stone back for the TCs. That's not a problem. He's going to drop a monastery, get the relics on the outside. What we are describing, though, is kind of how Vasco... Dagama against, uh, shoot, I forget who he played now. Um, was it uh, Simanguru? That's how that played out. Because Simanguru thought, I can go five TCs with Vietnamese. Holy crap, like, there's a wall of wood in front of me. I'm great. And then Vasco went on a cut, opened up the trees, and rushed right through the middle. That's what I'm worried about. It's like, do you got a pre-stone wall for the onager cut? Mm -hmm. And if you pre-stone wall for the onager cut, that's a lot of stone walls, dude. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, if this game goes late, this is going to be a really fascinating Civ matchup. Oh, oh, whoa. Scout is flexing nice. now. Nice little moonwalk Dang. there. Yeah, so the stone's been yeah. purchased. Gaja is going to go for TCs. Has to play catch up in this regard. TC number two, TC number three. Now, Gaja Mata did this before as well, where one of the TCs is on food. I really like it. That was against TC number the Great. four, maybe? No. Could see it. He goes for heavy plow. He goes to the second wood upgrade. Okay, so at least... <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, Vasco, I I love how Vasco has seen this map and gotten away with every little detail. And everyone else has been like, no, it's too complicated. I can get away with farms. Farms is fine. I mean, Res Collected still tells you that apparently Gajamata is ahead in that regard. But this is just the greediest little boom from Vasco de Gama, even using his scout there. That's so crazy. Let's take a look at Vasco's um, line of sight. What has he explored in this game? Mm, that's a great question. We, like, uh, not much. Not much. Yeah, not, no. Not, and then Gajimata probably has most of the map uh, under yep. his vision. So Gajimata. Those where all the extra resources are and everything, but the one critical area he can't see is the middle with that little bat symbol. Yep. He it just he just can't see it, and he doesn't know the levels of eco expansion from Vasco. I got I gotta say, as Vasco da Gama loses <laughs> the scout to the Rhino, uh, put that on the highlight reel for Vasco da Gama. There, highlight. Yeah, where people. where are you at now, horseman? <laughs> that's that's what happens to normal people. Um, that's for family. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I just, I can't help but fall more and more in love with this map because these are two high-level players who've made it to the semis who both believe firmly in their strategy and it, it, there's wild differences between them. Like, they could not be more different. One player goes for scouts off a Feudal Age build. The other player goes for Fast Castle into the Rhinos. I don't like that TC for Gajamata unless, Dave, unless, as memories flood back, He's using that chop TC through. to cut through into the middle. Then mm -hmm. maybe he could attack Vasco da Gama. And Vasco da Gama can't take stone in the middle. If there was stone in the middle, Vasco da Gama's position is OP. But there's yeah, no stones with stone. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. but the, there there is none. That's an excellent point. All of the yep. stone is on the outside, and Gajimata right now is still kind of controlling that outside area as Vasco just waits for enough uh, of a boom to go for that outwards extension onto the stone. Still bringing in rhinos, by the way. Like, that's crazy. So, you know what Vasco did when he played this strategy the last time? He said, oh, there's no stone? Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm gonna buy a castle. Like, he literally bought a castle. Um, and maybe he'll do the same here if he doesn't want to take any risk and leave his little, his little area. But if you don't have stone, you can't make outposts. And if you can't make outposts, you can't get vision. And so, you know, mm -hmm. those villagers are chopping away. And soon we could have scouts running through the middle. I think Gajamata's got to be careful leaving with the scouts he has on the outside of the walls. Because then Vasco might be like, with, wait a second. Where is he going? With but, Town Watch, I believe those houses will be able to spot that. But I don't know. He's been so greedy this game. I don't know if he's going Town Watch. Also, no, another thing no. that's not on the middle is Relics, which Gajamata yep. is collecting right now.
Now, the, it won't make up for all of the gold available in that center area, but it will be a nice little trickle of resources coming in. And he should be able to grab all five relics here. He just needs it's to set so... himself up defensively and get ready for this onager cut that's going to come through the middle. And he and he knows because he watched the games, right? He watched the games mm -hmm. at this point. We know, he knows. I'm just surprised that Vasco hasn't thought, okay, what can my opponent do to break me? And and even consider building like outposts. Yeah, there's town watch, but I'm pretty sure those vills are almost through. And you can't wall behind. So it's not like he can notice it and react to it in some way beyond making some army. Still can't see it, Dave. Still cannot see that those vills are chopping through. They will be through soon. Yeah, and this Vasco guy doesn't strike me as a town patrol enthusiast like some <laughs> of uh, the other GL players might be, you know? Yeah, I mean, this Sebastian character, Vasco da Gama, haven't seen him research town patrol too frequently. Uh, Rhino's continuing to be brought in here from Vasco. We've going to have double monastery now, and that's probably going to be, well, obviously going to be for monks. Crazy boom, crazy lead for him. Resources collected is wild. Does make you think that this build is, is very strong. But his opponent's going to be through. I mean, it might not be a good thing that you open that up if you're Gajamata. Well, if you have... Oh my god, he's just buying the stone for the castle again. How much gold <laughs> did he just spend on that? A lot. Oh my but in this economy, a castle? But he has access. He has access, and if he sees that his opponent has a castle there with that outpost, then he's going to love the fact that he could build his own castle and trap that down. This is looking amazing for Vasco. He is starting to build outposts now. He should find out about the cut through soon. But it's like, what does the cut through do for Gajamata? He could bring a couple scouts to the middle, but a couple scouts is not going to break Vasco da Gama right now. Oh boy, and he sees it. He sees that there's a path. And the scout comes in, it's going to deny the outpost for the time being, but it also kind of gives Vasco another area to push up against that town center. If he were to buy himself another castle, Quick wall. he still only has 10 stone in the bank. Quick wall. Oh Quick my wall god. Quick wall there from Vasco. You could sense it. Nice He's job. like, uh, come on, it's just a scout. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not a problem for me. There's the siege workshop. Now, we knew it was going to be a potential onager cut, but... You know, can Gajamata stop it at this point? Um, we're going to see a Treb now from Vasco. I, I'm like, I think Gajamata has not chosen the correct strategy to, to counter this. He did the same thing he did before, but like, Vasco is going to be able to Treb that castle. That castle from Gajamata is so bad for him because it's an easy Treb range from the other side of the wood line. There's nothing he can do to contest that Trebuchet. It feels like he wants another cattle on this side, too. Yeah, he's still banking up stone, right? The food eco still isn't where it needs to be for Gajamata. You look at the food eco, it's fantastic for Vasco. As the light cap now pushes back these monks on this side. And that light cap actually might kill all three of these monks. Yeah, it should be. I mean, that's the buildup right now for Vasco. He hasn't made a single knight. I mean, he's made the treb. He hasn't gone for the onager upgrade just yet. Castle's going to fall. Maybe Gaja can make it messy on the outside, Dave. He's got lots of vills around the outside, taking stone. If you put a castle again is on the backside of Vasco's base, that cuts off a lot of farm eco and uh, applies a threat, but it also yeah. spreads you out maybe a little bit too thin. As there, Barista Man, it's coming in again. <laughs> this guy, I mean, loves Barista Man. He loves Man. that tech. I... I still don't really... I haven't seen a practical application for it. I think it, it helps the healing it's not gonna of the complete. monks. It's area That's healing. Gonna so one monk can heal all the units in the area. Within Got a it. certain radius. Well, he's going to need a lot of healing if Vasco de Gama completes the Onager upgrade and comes through. But Vasco de Gama didn't have someone raiding him with, with units last time he tried this. And here come the Light Cab. They're going to weasel their way through there. Kill another monk. Or not. I think the monk will still die. Onager's seen, so you know your opponent's going to come through. Monk goes down. Nice job from Gajamata. Remember, Gajamata has five relics. His castle's still buying him some time. Paladin upgrade for Vasco, though, against Saracens. It is Jesus. critical now that Vasco de Gajamata... Uh, sorry, that Gajamata realizes that his opponent is going for this. If he doesn't realize yeah. his opponent's going for this, 
He can't tech into camel. Teching into camel can save him, but he's got to find wherever those stables are. And he's looking around. He I don't even know it. where the stables are. Wow. Yeah, he has no idea. He has no idea what Vasco is going for. The stables are all over on that side. I yep. don't think there was any outposts or anything like that. He's going to be incredibly surprised. You can see him trying to tech into cav archers. I think the, the composition he was looking for, Gajumata, is a big group of cav archers and then a lot of yep. monks area healing the cav archers behind because he's gone for that mm. tech twice already yeah and, uh, maybe he's tested it out and maybe that's an incredibly powerful composition i don't know but uh -oh. with this castle being denied and now seeing the cavalier that comp isn't going to really work against students no it's not it's not those cavalier are going to find it now, now he knows so now he knows oh geez maybe i i need something other than cav archer and Cav Archer is actually really good against students. It's one of the best things you can do Heresy? against students. Vasco just casually buys another castle. But he Heresy? goes for Heresy Dave because Gajamata converted the Onagers and the one Onager turned to a Manganel. That's a bug. No, no, it's no. It's an no, old no, bug. No, no, so no, if you've no. been around. The... Gajamata is going for Heresy, not Vasco. Oh. Oh, okay. So we've got Heresy what? from Gajamata because he sees the monks. I don't know what's happening. All I know is we've got Paladins finding that. We got Paladins and Onagers and Monks from Vasco, who has two castles, even though he's never mined any stone. That's a lot of Paladins. There's not many upgrades for Gajamata. And I don't know, dude. I, I think these Paladins just win Vasco de Gama his third game. I mean, we got 26 seconds till Heavy Camel comes in. I, the, I mean, I guess at least his Camels aren't being converted, so Heresy's paying off, but that that's an incredibly expensive click. That is 1,000 gold for anyone that's not familiar for heresy so that your units die upon conversion. It's 1,000 gold so that their units, like, aren't given to your opponent, basically, but they're still dead. Yeah, they're still dead, and it's not actually Monks that is the greatest threat, but he tried to do what he could. He, he had the excess gold, clearly, so he felt like he could do it. The relics that he collected brought in 1,700 gold for him so far, but the heart of his eco... His entire eco is right here. And now Vasco da Gama says, great idea, actually. I should consider that tech. There's plenty of gold to go around. So Heresy's going to come in for Vasco da Gama. And Gajamada is sitting here looking at his screen right now. Like, man, have I run into a beast. Whoever this player is, Vasco da Gama, maybe I don't match up against him here today. And it's just, it's a struggle to see what Gajamada could do right now with all the paladins coming through. He's going to play on, but 92 vils. 92 vils. And it's all because Vasco was hiding every single move. GG called. Vasco boomed up in the center, went for a fast castle. Incredibly calm approach. And then a double heresy, actually. He got heresy before the game ended. When's the last time we saw that outside of Arena? <laughs> um, but like then he hid the stables on the left side, where his opponent couldn't see at all. And mm -hmm. the Paladin switch just completely caught Gajamata off guard. If Vasco goes for any other unit there other than Paladin, I think Gajimata has a chance. Yeah, like maybe you could try like some slow Hal Bonager tech with with uh, the Teutons. I think a lot of closed map players Look would do KD. that. But <gasps> the KD and the Eco, oh. right? The Eco, like that strategy is just insane. And, and not mining any stone, but still ending up with more castles than your opponent is wild too. I mean, Gajimata again knew that Vasco did that in the past still felt like he didn't have to contest the middle by chopping through and Vasco de Gama continues to make that strategy look like the only strategy everyone should go for in hidden forts which by the way if that is the case if what Vasco de Gama did right there is that busted I'm gonna predict a Gajamata victory here I I can I can get on board with that I think Cap Armenians are insanely strong I think that Vikings can struggle against the landing. Um, I think I'm not going to bet 20 gifted subs on it again um, because apparently I'm wrong every time I make a bet. But but no, seriously, um, we'll get into it. We'll see what the island shape looks like. The last two times we've seen island, the positions have been very different. This one here, more of your standard approach. And guys, right now, Vasca da Gama looks unbeatable. We do have a Vasca da Gamer emote because he's been... Uh, gamer so far, Vasco de Gamer goes for the Vikings. 
And then we have Gaja Mata, who's gone for the Dravidians. Interesting. I thought it was going to be Armenians. So he must be saving Armenians for something else. And it's going to be Dravidians here, Dave. Uh, talk me through the sieves. What do you like? I, I think Dravidians have a better opening than Vikings. But if we're thinking about the late game uh, scenario on this map, longboats are just a killer. We've seen it time and time again, and they're better than the Thericidae. Like, I, I, I don't think you should ever really make that unit against Vikings. Galleon mm -hmm. is probably just better, right? Maybe even open fast fire and then into Galleon. Thericidae are just so underwhelming, especially against, uh, especially against longboats. But early eco bonuses has to do with the the timings and the age spikes for Dravidians. Vikings is more of a collective type of thing. You get wheelbarrow, you get handcart. It benefits you a lot over time, along with the yeah. discount on the ships. But Dravidians can really take advantage of getting up to feudal faster, getting up to castle I know, faster. I know stat guy is probably searching for an insignificant stat, as that has been relatively common in Hidden Cup 5. My apologies. But I would like to see the Viking win rate in Hidden Cup 5, because Vikings have been around a really long time. And since Hidden Cup 4, which has been three years, we had a lot of civs introduced, which we've seen played on islands. Uh, the Dravidians, we, we've seen the Bengalis do pretty well. Uh, those are like the first two that come to mind. And um, the Vikings have always seemed to compete, even against the Italians, which isn't necessarily as new as the Dravidians. It's just like, like we say sometimes with, with some of these classic civs, Dave, Huns are Huns. Franks are Franks. Vikings are Vikings. They're so smooth. They're so good. So be interesting to see that. Because I would have said that Vikings would have maybe been fourth or fifth on my tier list. And more and more I watch Islands, Vikings just continue to get amazing victories. I mean, the longboats are impressive, right? If you can survive until getting there and manage to get your docks up, even if you lose water early, longboats are going to bring you back for sure. Mm -hmm. As we see a yep. forward dock here from Vasco. And where is the dock position going to be from our Dravidians friend? It will be forward as well. Okay, interesting. So there was a strategy I recall from the qualifiers. And there were nine players who qualified for this event, right? So there was a couple players that tried this. Where you'd see forward dock with the Dravidians. Mm -hmm. uh, you would still go transport. But you would bring your fishing ships with you and build your next dock on the opponent's island. That way it was like right next yeah. to the Viking player. So they come over, they're looking for your fish, they don't find anything. And then all of a sudden you have a dock right next to their their fish and their production. So um, the forward dock from Dravidians makes me think that could be a possibility here. Yeah, and if, if your opponent is Vikings, they don't have the potential of going fire galley. And if you're fighting yep. galleys against fire galley, you want your galley docks as far away as possible from the fire galley docks as the boar now goes back. Vasco, okay. Oh, maybe maybe he garrisons too many and shoots the boar because he shot it one too many times. Maybe he kills the boar by accident. It's never going to happen. I mean, it was pretty hype, Dave. It was, it was pretty hype for something that was never going to happen. Well it's played. Islands, I'm impressed. Bro. <laughs> well i mean the ink the intricacies of islands i i could still get real excited about here we're gonna see loom now for gajamata and for vasco so I, I doubt this is because vasco is going to transport himself but i think that he knows that it's likely his opponent can come across the map i think it's very likely that we are also going to see this from from gajamata dave and like i know it's a simple thing uh, but we have seen players not get loom. Um, notably, one player built a castle with 20 villagers next to his opponent's base without loom yesterday, which was unbelievable. But um, even in situations with Vasco, right? How many times have we seen players not expect the landing or just forget loom, and then when the opponent shows up and lands them, they have big problems. So I really like the fact that Vasco is thinking about that. Yeah, both of them. Getting Loom there, and uh, now the scout is loading up into the transport ship. Ah, yes, the intricacies of islands. Here we go. Let's see where he lands. <laughs> but, dude, so you don't know. To talk about. But we know what's out there. Gajamata doesn't know what's out there. This is a scary thing, dude. He's looking. He's like, oh, we found the opponent's lands. Let's go. 
Okay. Is this a oh, neutral island? Is this in the, the mainland? There? Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, we have a oh, transport just... from I... Costco as well. They're both going <laughs> to transport. And they might go right past one of those. Sup? Hey, what's up, pal? How's it going? Just passing. And, and now, Vasco da Gama ends up on the wrong island. So finally, someone else can be made fun of about this except for me. And who knows? Like, is he going to come back? He's still there. Vasco. Like, oh, Vasco. Oh, oh, crap. Okay. Um, and now there's an archer range on my island. And uh, I guess Vasco is going to continue. Uh, there, Here comes the vills for Vasco to rush this down. The range is not going to be denied. Here comes Vasco's villagers. He's sending four. And uh, this, this is going to be fun stuff oh. as now... We could see these sheep get stolen here as well. So Vasco could be in some big problems. And that could be a big deal, right? You need all the free food eco you can get. And he's already killed three of the sheep. He's going to slaughter another one there. The villagers have dropped off, but things are suddenly not going so well for Vasco, who is now going yep. for a Viking stable on his opponent's islands. Now, scouts are, are really great if your opponent doesn't have loom or if they have an open base. But it looks like Gajimata is kind of walling up. And then once you're up against walls, you're going to need a tower or an archer range to support those scouts. And that's a big investment from Vasco. And, and got, what Gajimata has done here is so good against scouts. And it's that he made his barracks at home. So at many home. people, they yep. transport and they build the barracks forward. And then the scout rush could dominate. But the fact that he can make spears is awesome. He's also made fire galleys so he can get on Vasco's fish. It's going to be really tough for and Vasco now. And he noticed now. the tower with the vill? I think he tower noticed the tower up. with the vill. I think that, that the bad pathing on the gold actually let him notice that tower. Shout out to the devs. He doesn't know. He does not know he needs a spearman, Dave. He, he, there, he is attacking right now. He's microing on water. He's microing on land. This is going to be messy. This might be one of the funniest island games we've had all tournament, honestly. Because both players could take big losses. Vasco has no answer right now to the archers of Gajamata. If Gajamata can just get them to the right positions and micro villagers down. Oh, oh God, they're in the ground. Oh, he he lost him against the TC. Ah! Oh, yikes. I mean, we can understand it. He does reposition to this gold. He does have a spearman now. He will have more archers. There's still a galley out there from Vasco da Gama. He sh really should be at a disadvantage here, but I think his galley is is maybe killing some fishing ships right now. He was trying to, and he gets pushed away. Yeah, it's only one fish for both. I think the the issue here for uh, for both players is going to be that food eco behind, as both yeah. of them now have a stable right producing scouts, and they want to go spearmen yep. here too. The scouts on islands becoming the new meta apparently and actually sniping a second vill but here comes the first villager snipe from gajimata already has fletching on the more. archers might get another more. one yeah yeah there will be more okay, now, can he micro on. this can he micro this while he's also losing things at home it's so tricky does lose another archer dave if he had three archers this is yeah. game over potentially those two archers yeah. going down to the tc have kept vasco in this because vasco can't even build the defensive tower right now but also, Wheelbarrow is going to help out Vasco with these bills running away, yep. right? And yep. Little small bonuses here making the big, big differences as the scouts now push in towards that wood line. There is a spearman there. If he commits for this vill, he's losing all those scouts. But he's punching away at the archer on the other side. And Gajimata just hasn't had enough attention given to the military yep. at the front because he's so busy with getting raided at home. It's funny, he's busy because he chose this life, right? He chose this, but but Vasco's best form of defense here has actually been the fact that he has these scouts over here. Beautiful stuff from him. Also, the only villagers that Vasco has on gold is currently on Gajamata's island. And Gajamata is also going to be, as he kills another villager, he's going to be taking gold on Vasco de Gama's island. This is a bonkers yep. islands game we're witnessing right now. Okay, if Gajimata is Tato, as some people expected, uh, once again, I'm saying this, we could see a demo made and then the scouts trying to bait the villagers back towards the shoreline. Yeah, yeah. Into a demo. I, I, Actually I could definitely viable. see that being viable. Yeah, I could see that being viable. Nice job here from Gajimata. It's been a little wasteful with archers at times, but wasteful is a little unfair because of how crazy these games have been. He's able to get away from that tower and now sit here 
on the eco. Now that farming eco from Vasco, it feels so consistent. No matter what's happening, he's gonna have food eco with his farms, and he's gonna take he's his scouts home scouts right back. now. He's bringing them home. There's no spearmen here, Dave. This is actually pretty brilliant. That's such a crazy play. That's so good. Who would like? Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> That's wild, well, man. And he knows there's yeah. no barracks because he saw the barracks on his opponent's island. It would be wild to me if Gajamata makes a forward barracks because of seeing these scouts. I don't think he's going to have the time to do that. He will quick wall in his villagers, though. He does see this, and he is micring his archers very nicely. We'll see if these scouts end up getting the kills he was hoping for. Right now, the micro is well, pretty good for Gajamata. And now Gajamata oh, is going to hop into his transport ship and save two of his archers. That's sick, <laughs> dude. That's sick. And he's still cutting off the farming <laughs> eco over there. We've got an archer rage now at home from Bosco. Oh, my God. This The intricacies <laughs> of islands. I now yeah, believe dude. you. I mean, it's this is definitely crazier than we, we thought. We thought the Vikings player would be the defensive one. Vasco's been happy to make it messy. Nice snipe there. The scouts coming home definitely paid off. But if you have your scouts at home, that also means that Gajamata, he doesn't have to worry about those scouts at his own base. So I think Gajamata's fairly happy with that. Uh, still knows Forward there's villagers market. there, and maybe he'll deal with that at some point. They're it's setting up the trade? Right Dude, that would be next level. If they start to run out of resources. Vasco has lost everything, all of his villagers on his opponent's island. Gajamata starts to mass trade carts <laughs> to, to sneakily trade with the enemy market to get resources. <laughs> yeah, but then you're gonna have you're gonna have to sneak like 15 convoys there just to pay off. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth it. Gajamata just has uh, to distract Vasco, I believe. Oh man, look at this uptime from both of them. Like just two food away right now is Gajimata, which is like painful to see. I feel bad for him, but boom, there he goes. So both players are up. Um, neither player has has the greatest stable. Uh, Dravidians though cannot make knights. Vikings could at least make knights. I, I wouldn't the, mind to the see that. The one thing for Gajimata is that he's he's replaced his fishing ships over time as we see the galley now coming in yeah, to try yeah, and snipe yeah. them, but. He's gotten a lot of resources from those fish, and Vasco had to go for farms earlier. Where is Vasco taking gold? He is the only place on the island from that Vasco Gajimata. is taking gold is on Gajamata's island. Correct. His yep. gold situation's yep. awful at his own island. So if those villagers get dealt with, if Gajamata could still hold this position, advantage to Gaz Gajamata. I really like the scout edition here. To push back the skirms. Great fight Beautiful. for Gajimata. And yeah, Dave, you just got to be... Honestly, you don't even need to worry about killing the four vills on your own island right now if you're Gajimata. Just never, ever give Vasco access to these golds again. Yeah, it's it's a really strong setup here. But look at that. It's, it's stone collection from Vasco. And Vasco might just end up selling that stone for gold if he really needs it. I just wonder, yeah. will Vasco... Just continue with the land investment here, or does Vasco try and get some more longboats on the water once he's in Castle? Yeah. Is he gonna go it's like, try however, it for full water control? However you spend your gold, you have to be very, very choosy right now because you're not gonna be able to get that much more. There's gonna be second TC for Vasco. So he'll add more Vils. Still not on gold than his base. Mm -hmm. He's gonna go for a forward monastery, actually, which is an interesting move. He doesn't have a transport anymore, but maybe transporting that relic over to his opponent's island is amazing. Look, oh look God. at Gajamata. Gajamata is down three games. It's been bad. And still he's come with this chaotic energy, and he is letting his opponent know. He's not trying to hide it. He's building a siege yeah. workshop on Vasco's face. This guy's still And an elephant. And the monastery, guess where it is? It's forward. <laughs> it is not defensive. <laughs> So monks are a great <laughs> counter to elephants. Unfortunately, yeah. the monk needs to hop in the transport ship. That would be... Oh, he didn't make the elephant at home. Never oh, mind. The elephant's I thought here. That was in the stable. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 uh, wait, wait. My whole point is ruined. Here. We got it wrong. There is going to be a monk. If the monk converts this elephant, this could be quite bad, actually, for Gajamata. Quick walling here. The monk's just now on the way, though, Dave. So it's going to take some time. That elephant... You got to delete that elephant. Oh... 
How okay. did he get that quick, quick wall, wall up in time? That's insane. Another elephant coming over. The monk is coming out, though, uh, and there's a little cubby there for the monk to sit uh, in. I don't think the villagers can bash this down fast enough. It might it might not be able to squeeze through there. Let's see. There might not be space. Okay, there is the space. The palisade wall is going down. It's He's going distracted. down. It's going down. It's going down. It's going down. Dude. You got to delete the elephants. Delete the elephants. The elephant is no, going to kill the No, he'll get the monk in time. He gets it. Oh, that's hype. That's disastrous for Vasco because Vasco needs gold. That's the only area he could get gold right now. His villagers are fast because of the upgrades, but you know they're just going to be running around right now. Gajamata no with the lead right now and with a nice forward position, but Vasco is going to plan to drop a castle at some point. We got to look out for that. Yep. Gajamata, what I would love to see from him is either more villagers coming forward for a castle drop of his own because I think this area is fairly secure or stone yep. walling that gold on the right side from Vasco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, man, that galley killed the fish earlier. It's still killing villagers. That galley's gotten some value. I um, I wouldn't be surprised if Gajamata is who I think Gajamata is. It would not surprise me to see a two villager forward castle. Like you've got crossbows, you've got light cav. Okay, you've got this whole thing happening. That's looking good for you. If you get a castle down on the front, it's game over. So you might need to mm -hmm. ferry a couple more villagers across here. But with six hundred fifty stone, where else are you going to build a castle? You're cleaning up the forward. Yeah, I, I, I would. It would again. Oh, it wouldn't shock me at all. Here job. we got this villager. That villager's gonna go down. Villager goes down. Well played there from Gajimata. That was so well done to add the light cab, to add the elephants, to snipe the monk early, to take that out. But yeah. look at this. Yeah. Handcart villagers oh. for Vasco coming after the Mangonel. He's repairing it, but those bills are gonna run behind. I don't know if they're, they're gonna so be fast. close enough to repair it. And there's the town center. There is the town center on the gold from Vasco as he's trying to deal with these crossbows in the back. He's going to reclaim gold access on the other side. Oh, oh, big shot there from Vasco. Those are a lot of weak crossbowmen, but the split Splits. micro from Gajamata says, I'm paying attention now. You do need wood and gold to repair uh, Siege. So Vasco doesn't have a lot of that until this TC goes up. TC's been spotted. Crossbows are uh -oh. running over there. Attack rounds potential. Nice shot again from Vasco, but he's falling behind in Vils. He doesn't have water control. He barely has access to gold. And Dave, I, that... it all in the queue. That TC is the biggest castle drop target I've, I've ever seen. Like, you gotta yeah. bring Vils across. Make it like 7 to 12 Vils with your own siege and crossbows. And just deny this area. And you can win this game. Oh no. He lost one of his forward villagers to that town center. He lost one okay, of his maybe four not bills. A, maybe with two villagers, I was actually okay with it. <laughs> uh, which, I'm not sure about the one villager castle. <laughs> and there's a the defensive castle there from Vasco. We yeah, look at the res yeah. collected. Still significantly ahead for Gajimata, right? The the villagers, yeah. he has more of them right now. There is handcart and mm. wheelbarrow for Vasco, which is extremely nice in this situation. I don't think it would be alive without it. Ooh. And takes out a Mangonel. Oh my god. Wow, so so Vasco holds on then. Vasco holds on. He, he might be able to take both of his golds. The forward will eventually get shot down. This now probably becomes a game where it's more about uh, water control long term, which is what islands can often become. Uh, that poor elephant is chasing the knight. He's, he's trying to bait the elephant back towards that monastery where he has a monk coming out, and then he's going to convert that. This villager is super weak. He's dead. dead. Siege workshop tonight. Okay, so no siege presence anymore. Look, he's trying to bait the elephant. Dude, you Come are spot way. on. You are spot on. Ha -ha. He's baiting the elephant so to weak. the monastery. That he's going to get as close as wait. possible and try and convert You him. wait till you're close. Yep, you wait till you're close. Yeah. Why kill the elephant when you can convert the elephant? And Agajimata has block, to that. Block the elephant with the knight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just, oh, yep. God. There we go. So now, did you guys know Vikings got elephants? Because that's what we're having here in Hidden Cup 5. Um, I mean, I, I'm not ready to give up on Vasco here. Being up 3-0, he's got great food eco. He's Vikings. He could easily reclaim water. He's been a pest with this. I mean, some people might even argue that Vasco has the lead with this economy, but... I think it's pretty close right now. 
What a game. Elfin is very annoying. The monastery is even more annoying, and the knight's just everywhere, too. Now, armored elephant, still mangonels, still light cab yeah. on the other side as the villagers commit yeah. against this elephant. He's not making it easy. E neither player is making it easy to remove their forward from the other's yeah. island. And I think there's an attack at the back of Vasco's eco at that, at that stone once again where he was attacking before. Vasco's economy is under threat here, and it's the crossbows killing villagers. It might actually be wood that becomes a problem as well for Vasco, because he doesn't have much left there. Also, he has enough stone for another castle that so we could maybe... I I'm, I'm not... I'm not giving up on a forward castle from either player at this point. I think it's a very likely scenario as the Berserks oh, were added out of the castle and the Berserks oh. will not kill the siege. Meanwhile, the siege dying on the other side, potentially, unless he repairs it. Looks like that Scorpion's going to kill the Light Cav, and he does save the Mangonel there. University now coming up for Vasco. Doesn't really have the res to click up to Imperial Age yet. Gajamata may be thinking about it. Gajamata transported more vills across, and we know what he's thinking about right now. There it it's is. There it is. There it is. We knew it was going to come. Now, it is, it is a safe castle, right? There's some players who are in Hidden Cup who wouldn't place this castle, but he knows that he's kind of got vision on the other golds. And if this castle goes up, then it's very little gold for Vasco. Now, in normal scenarios, you see a forward castle from your opponent at your base, you want to try and go to the Imperial Age. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be for Vasco because he needs gold for Imp, but uh, he's going to take out this elephant. This castle isn't being built with a lot of villagers. A nice shot there from Gajamata, but Gajamata has to make sure he doesn't lose this battle. You this can't is, lose this nice Mangano. moments. Yeah. You don't have to kill the Mangonel of your opponent. You just simply cannot lose yours before this castle is up. And the castle is going to go yeah. up just fine. So he's done a good job there. He's going to click up to Imperial Age at the same time, it feels like, as Vasco, if not a little bit sooner. And the Mangonel mm -hmm. does go down. The TC is under threat. He's being a real pest on this island here. Okay, so I, I think you have to now recognize your castle is likely to be tread down, right? Gajamata's castle has accomplished a job. It, it's pressuring the opponent's gold, but it will be tread down. You have to give up on that. But what you do now is you plan for water. You see Vasco is coming on the water with the longboats, the longboats which we think just dominate this map. I mean, I'm seeing Gajamata continue to make buildings there. He doesn't want to give it up, but I think you need Navy now if you're Gajamata. Because if you don't go for Navy, maybe you get everything trapped down here. Maybe everything's trapped. Yep. And that could be a problem. I think you also have to start thinking while you have control or limited control now that the longboats are out, grabbing the relics yep. in the middle. Yeah, it's true. very rare true. that these islands games are, gonna, are going to finish before there's you know, less than 10k wood on the map, it's going to yep. go late. It always does, even if you have a forward like this. So you got to take those relics when you can. At University, it's a weird thing, but the University may actually go down for Vasco, which could delay his chemistry upgrade, which mm -hmm. is going to be important for his longboats. Ooh, and he nice now needs defense. With the crossbows. Yeah, he needs defense. Dude, I mean, even the wood situation for Vasco, maybe I'm wrong. Like, maybe if you just... If you do fight, then Vasco runs out of all resources. He's really struggling right now for resources because of how constricted he is on his island. Like so. He's almost at the stage where he's going to need to transport over to his enemy's island to get wood access or the middle island. And he might do it. He's got enough stone for a castle. I could easily see Vasco trying to do that. Risky, of course, but sometimes you have to take those risks. All right, let's see it. Imp is in for both players at the same time, Dave. I mean, I know the scoreline 3-0, but if you watch the whole mm -hmm. series, game two was so close. This game so close. It's just been those games, game number one and game number three, that weren't really the most competitive. But there, we have had two close games out of the four so far in our first semifinal. Uh, fast fire now on workshop. the way for Gajamata. <laughs> Another siege <laughs> workshop, and the university did die. The university did die, so chemistry not possible at the moment here for yep. Vasco. And Vasco still really doesn't have an army, right? As the, yep. the Mangonel gets a little bit too aggressive on this side. He doesn't have an army to fight against the crossbows. 
He does have a navy. He is still massing longboats, and those longboats can can do a really nice job. They could actually do a nice job against the crossbows if the crossbows are on the shoreline. And here come Vils mm -hmm. from Vasco. Vasco says, I'm going to take this neutral island. I'm, I was there before. I started feudal age on that island. This is where I just wanted to scout it out. It wasn't a mistake. And here he's seeing villagers go down, though. No, you're right, Dave. The crossbows are a big problem. The Treb as well could actually go down to the Armored Elephant, too. I think it will. I think it will. I don't think the villagers can out-repair that. And behind this, here comes the fast fight. Look at the variance of units from Gajimata right now. He's got crossbows, monks, spearmen, skirmisher, light cav, armored elephant, battle elephant, trebuchet, bombard cannon, fast fires. Like, it's crazy how much he's trying yeah. to do at the same time. But his forward castle has been taken out. And Vasco will try and completely remove him from this side of wow, the island. Wow, forward. That's an interesting spot for the university there for Vasco. Nice little school there on the island. We've got uh, he, no stone repair. anymore We're for stoned. Vasco. He has to buy the stone. Did he lose a market, Dave? Because he's dead. not buying stone. I think he might have lost a market and we missed it. The forward the market. Was it the forward market? Oh, yeah, was it was the forward the market. Yeah, true. He lost it. And there he just built a new one. BG! And he calls the GG. And Gajamata gets a win on the board. Vasco de Gama says, dude, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. This is just way too crazy for me. What a fun islands game, and Gajamata stays alive here in our semifinal. Made it messy, and even when I felt like, dude, you've got to give up on the island. Give up on the island. Yeah. You've done enough. He just kept going, dude. That's Gajamata yep. for you. I, and if you're wondering why Vasco GG'd there, I mean, a lot of players wouldn't have GG'd in that situation, but he didn't have the market to buy stone. He loses that castle, right? And once that castle is lost, the other castle is basically a goner. Because yep. that castle was forcing Gajamata to stay near the water where his longboats could support him. As soon as it goes down, you can push forward into the safety of the mainland. And there is no army there from Vasco to push that back, even though you have middle island control. What a big moment there, clearing up the monk and then clearing up those four <laughs> villagers. Gajamata, I mean, he just, I guess he just landed better. Portuguese, Burmese. Oh, I actually wouldn't hate Burmese on Bay. But then it's like, why did you pick Italian so so high? Or or Khmer? Like, where's Khmer going to go for Vasco? Yeah, there might be something where's slightly our, different. Where's Armenians played for Gajamata? Ooh, Armenians could actually be here. Yeah, that, that's a big maybe. one. Because if he wants Koreans maybe on Maybe you cup, go... <sighs> All right. Italians, Fun matchup. Is it that interesting, though? Is it? I, like, th was, I, is this what was uh, what was uh, hyped up? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've been I think we've been misled a little bit, <laughs> but we have yet to see Portuguese on this map the entire tournament. So on paper, it is quite interesting. We've got Gajamata going for the Portuguese. He needs to win three straight. Otherwise, he's out of Hidden Cup. Again, we don't know who he is, but I can tell this player is a fighter. And then Vasco de Gama, he is the type of player who says, I don't care if you know what I'm going to do. I'm still going to do it, and I'm still going to beat you. And so he, he sticks with the Italians, and I think he picked the Italians every single time he played this map. Uh, it's a map that he has looked very good on, and it's a map where you initially start off with the focus on the water, Beyond the water, though, there's lots of lands to expand. That's where I think Vasco wins these types of games. It's He does such a good job transitioning his economy uh, beyond the water builds into the late game, Dave. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if the previous set gave Gajimata much practice on this map in terms of the way Vasco is going to play it. Because if you remember <laughs> the last game that he played here, <laughs> There was a sneak villager in the very corner of his map, which yeah. did not reveal itself until the castle age. Yeah. So <laughs> things were uh, things were extremely interesting the last time he was here. Yeah. Um. That way way to go, Otto the Great, for not preparing Gajamata properly. Here. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I would. I would. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that we are not going to see the sneak villager into the back corner of the base this time. 
Uh, so my yeah. expectation instead would be maybe one or two dock approach and fighting for the fish. Now, the Portuguese, they have cheaper gold units. They get some extra wood when they take berries. They have a pretty solid tech tree, and then their ships have more HP. So this is going to be a fight on water. Even if you expect Vasta Gama to have the better micro, let's say, the Portuguese can kind of get away with taking some bad fights because of how strong their ships are. So I really like the Portuguese here. And Yeah, I mean, you're always winning the one-on-one. -on -one which is huge, right? It's very mm -hmm. similar to Byzantines or Bengalis. Your opponent has to react to you and how many numbers of fire galleys you have because they can't take that one-on-one -on -one battle as we see Gajamata well, getting a little bit weak with this villager, but he should be fine. He should be perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, there's a chance he should be if perfectly he tries fine. to weaken it that the villager gets hit in the last second. But yeah, that, that stress that you felt, Dave, and that some of the viewers mm -hmm. felt is, is just from their own personal experience, I imagine. Um, sheep continuing to scout and Vasco is going to be docking as well and now we could kind of turn off the fog here now that we've seen what the players have scouted they scouted an awful lot and just to remind you of, of all the extra resources out there right lots of resources available stone and gold there's the big hill available on the far side almost mm -hmm. feels like Vasco doesn't see his boar right now his boar timing is really weird is that boar hiding from Hidden him? Boar? So Again? odd. They, remember, it, it was hiding in the auto set for a very long time. Yeah. Vasco does yeah. see it, and he's going he's gonna <laughs> to bring it in. It, was, it must it have was been in, in that darkness. little strip. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Sorry for the uh, for the cheap shot about the boar thing, by the way. I can relate as well. Oh, uh, no. I got, I, got a, I got a couple farm ones loaded up. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. My bad. That's why I apologized, yeah. honestly. I didn't really feel that bad. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Sneak in a little lose in your own qualifier for your own tournament reference in there <laughs> at some point. I got I'm, it loaded, dude. If nothing else, I'm really good at that. Okay. You're consistent. And, That's the most consistent thing you've ever done is is lose in the Titans League. I thought you were going to make it about the farms, bro. Don't go after my whole career. Oh. Jeez. Okay. That scout being weak is not good here. You, you got a scout on this map. And I know that Vasco's scout being 6 HP is, is kind of not great for attacks or anything. But if Vasco gets this hit, this could be brutal. And he gets the yeah, hit. Terrible. And Gajamata now doesn't have any idea what his opponent was doing. Maybe tried to force the issue. Wanted to be on the other side of things. And, and he would have the scout. And Vasco wouldn't. But it just opens up sneak potential now for Vasco over the course of uh, the game now. It's just, it's so brutal because you need to be able to track when your opponent is going out to that hunt. You need to be able yeah. to track what your opponent is switching into, the timing on their archer range or their stable potentially. And now he can't do any of those things. He's just fully committing onto water and he's going to be forced to wall himself. Now, this is a great map for Gajimata actually because the berries are in the back, the gold is in the back, and he's got two safe wood lines if he yeah. goes for that yeah. full wall in the front. I don't think Vasco can really pressure him all that much early in feudal. The other thing too the is like other players go, okay, my opponent lost the scout. Now I'm going to switch into a range. Mm -hmm. I don't think Vasco's that guy. I think Vasco no. might consider it later, but Vasco uh, has, has proven what works and likes to just play the water play and wall play. So it might not end up being all that bad. I think the score is going to go up here pretty heavily for Vasco just because the scout's going to be scouting the map and like finding those resources, getting the relics is helpful for later on. But I agree. I think with Gajimata's base, I think the fight's mainly going to be on water. He shouldn't have to worry too much about heavy aggression coming in on land. And he's going out to the mill right now. He's got three fires and a demo. Cute as he tries to save that fishing ship. Great job there saving that. Yep. And bringing it back to fish again. You don't want to hard commit on your opponent's fishing ships. They're not a singular ship is not bringing in that much in terms of resources, especially when you're the Italians up here against the Portuguese and you have 10 less HP on each of your fire galleys. You really want to take the optimal battles here. Yeah, and we'll see if there's repairs. I, I've been critical of some players who choose not to repair here. It, it's the same battle, right? The only way to get a lead here is you repairing your ships. 
It feels weird to invest this much under the water, but both players feel very happily, happy to do it. And there goes the demo. And the demo does kill a ship. Normally, I think, Dave, on like islands, we're going to say you want the demo to connect with two. But sometimes you got to take the kills you can get, especially if there's yeah. going to be repairs. So I don't mind that. I, I, I don't mind that at all because we've seen in the past from this main event people try and get greedy with their demos and then they get no value whatsoever it's stuck in between two fire galleys right just take it yep, when you yep. can get it you're portuguese you have the extra hp um as long as you kill the fire galley from your opponent using a demo like that is fine yep and that's exactly what vasco chooses to do and then vasco also pulling away with his fires beautiful micro yeah they're just they're just trading those demos to get kills and this is fairly even and what we eventually will look at is, is what's their farming setup like? Are they walled? Will they transition into anything else? But most likely right now, it's just this very even back and forth engagement, eventually headed towards Castlage. Look at Vasco even uses fish there. Like that, those fishing ships are weak. Kind of cute style play you could use there. Here comes the demo oh. and the demo. Well, this okay, could be bad. This could be bad. That's really bad for Gajamata. He loses the repairville. He loses the ship. Finally, we got a two for one. And that's all Gajibata, uh or Vasco da Gama needed to see to be happy with primarily fighting on water. It's kind of incredible that Vasco is getting this value up against fire galleys with more hit points. Yeah, but he agreed. does find that demo. He went right in for that villager and he's been the aggressor the entire time as both of them now Try and go for full walls. You can wall towards the dock, which they've both done. But land units can sneak past that dock on this marshy mm -hmm. terrain. So you have to be careful. Also, Gaja Mata needs to be careful with this weak scout from Vasco. Because if there is a villager on one hit, which we know there is from earlier, he's probably going to find it. Yeah, yep, yeah, true. Now, the score for Vasco, it, it's, it's not the kills. It's all that scout, just scouting. It's not that bad for Gajimata, but he's down 3-1, and the score is maybe going to suggest that it's bad. It's not. There's not that much happening. The score kind of can influence your thinking. with the demo. Beautiful micro, but Gajimata recovers. Res collected is pretty dead even at this point. Demo's connecting. Another demo's going to connect, and I think at this point, Gajimata's like, as long as you don't fish, I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if we see either of these players actually stop making Did ships that... soon. Okay, so zero Okay, zero fishing ships plus the villager from earlier. I was wondering if that yeah. scout actually did get a snipe, but I forgot about the villager that was demoed uh, previously. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. completely negated on water for the eco for both of them. And well, we're looking at the resources right now. It looks like they might click up at around the same time. If this goes late, love... Tristan. Yeah. Who do you like better, Portuguese or Italians? I think I like Italians, but I think the Portuguese have their windows. Like, mm -hmm. the Portuguese... Having cheaper gold units is really underrated. I think if it turns into, like, Arbalest Bombard Cannon, it could be really strong. I think the Italians having Hussar makes their late game and their raid potential greater. I do want to point yeah. out here, Vasco... Vasco is farmed, and this has been the theme for him very well here behind this now i'm assuming an awful lot but i'm looking at the amount on food and yeah see he's got those farms he still has the berries left guys just sent like 10 on the berries finished the berries and was late to the farms i think it's kind of it's going to lead to a similar castle age time but it's just so true so typical for vasco da gama to have the the farm times right and to have his eco set up Okay, he's going to click up a little bit faster. One villager behind Gajamata. I think he does have Town Watch too, I would suspect, because uh, why else would he be a vill behind after killing a villager from him? But yeah, everything. Oh, he's got a minute of Vital TC. That explains it. So things weren't yeah. as optimal as we thought it might have been. Also, not having fish as the Italians kind of hurts Gajamata able to squeak in a couple more fishing ships. So that's nice. Having two to three fishing ships working on the rest of the salmon is going to definitely help. Now, I think the community is more split about a semifinalist in Gajamana than we have ever, ever had in a hidden yeah. cup before. Like, yeah. viewers, type a name. Tell me who you think Gajamata is in my chat right now, okay? Um, 
I think we're going to see three or four different names, honestly. Uh, it's not Dave. Yo, it's ACM Tato. We, we're seeing a lot of Yo. We're seeing a lot of Tato. We're seeing a lot of ACCM. We're seeing a few doubts. Um, Barrels. But like, if this is... If, if we don't know who this player is, we should be looking to see if they fish trap long term. Because some players mm -hmm. are going to choose to fish trap in this area. It doesn't seem like Gajamada is really planning on that, but just worth thinking about. Yeah, for sure. That scout's still alive from Vasco. Still giving him information, but look at that fire galley just kind of sitting there <laughs> from Gajimata. He's yeah, like, yeah. I know that I'm not fully walled here. I'm just going to sit this guy <laughs> on stand ground. <laughs> And, you, and now the scout is like, I see you. And he's trying to bait him out of position. Then the fire galley goes right back. <laughs> That's too funny. Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's oh my look, god. TC2, TC3, and TC4 behind walls. So he is really going to be going crazy with eco. Uh, I think we'd only seen that from one other player. And now his scout gets sniped because Gajimata mixed in a stable. Which should mean... He'll get the scouting he didn't have before. He should be able to snag more relics than his opponent. I also like the side so, benefit of having water control is the ability to yeah. take out those houses there. Like, if Gajimata keeps adding fish here, adds like three or four more fish, we'll actually have the food to keep producing from the TCs. We have seven on food yep. right now for Vasco. And he's yep. getting heavy plow. And he's trying to go for TC production. Like, there is nothing else in the plan book here from Vasco for at least the next six to seven minutes. Yep. The the Nothing next else. period Not even of the a game will be adding no, it will be adding farms, putting all your wood into farms so that you can keep those town centers pushing out villagers. And if Gajamada, I mean it's it's untypical for the map, but if Gajamada sees these TCs lined up. I'm thinking Siege Push, dude. I'm thinking a forward Siege Workshop, and I'm pretty sure it's already placed on the map. I think Gajamata is going to come forward with the Siege Workshop. I love the decision from Gajamata, who recognizes yeah. his opponent is just going to boom, and that if it's a free boom, it'll be a, a good economy later on for Vasco. This will be a forward Siege Monk Push, and the big resource that is exposed for Vasco is that stone. He used the stone as part of his walls. He did not place a TC on the stone. So getting to a castle, getting to defensive towers even, going to be really complicated. Oh, man. Like, it's... You should always get punished for this approach. But from what we've seen from Vasco, he doesn't. He gets away with it because it's just, on average, like a minute quicker than any yep. other player. He yep. always seems to have the units in time to defend as soon as the siege comes out from his opponent or the forward castle comes out from his opponent. I hope that God Yamada, for the sake of this series, can break him, but I have my doubts, Tristan. I really do here. It just comes down to how quickly Vasco realizes this, and then also what unit choice he uses. I think you could go for monks, but that feels weird when there's scouts out there. I think the simplest play... And actually, maybe the best play to try here is to drop some stables, use all this food income you're built up, and go for Light Cap. Light Cap will be great if monks get mixed in from the opponent. Light Cap will still be good against the Siege. Gajimata full okay. map control, though. I think there's a sense of inevitability about Vasco, which I understand. But I think if the mm -hmm. roles were reversed, we're saying Vasco's got all this map control. Vasco's doing this. Oh, look at Vasco. Let's put some respect on Gajimata's name. He made it here. He's eight fields behind. He's pressuring the opponent's TC. Now let's see if Vasco could find the answer to this as the light cap run through to his base right now. Yeah, Fletching coming in to deal with the light cap because he knows this is an issue, but this is a massive headache. You're right. You're right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do this. And you, you should be critical, I think, of the strategy approach here from Vasco, which on paper probably isn't optimal at all. It's probably just a bad strat, but he's making it work because it's of so how risky. good he is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Early handcart's interesting too. Really helps the efficiency on the villagers. That's going to be a fourth TC for Gajimata. He doesn't have to end the game here with this, Dave. He just needs to hold this position for a long enough period of time. That micro from Gajimata and the outposting, it showed him that his opponent had the siege... How many times have we seen people lose their um, lose their forward siege push when they're trying to micro the light cab and add the TCs at home? 
He's had some mm -hmm. patience about this. Oh. And he gets a big oh, shot. And Gajamata gets the hit. And now Vasco is like, I need something more than my own defensive siege soon. Town watch coming in for Vasco. So he can see how much pressure is coming his way. The light cav is still alive. The other two were very weak and they got taken out earlier. But look at the amount of eco expansion behind from Gajamat. He's only 10 vils behind. He's got four yep. town centers. And there's nothing More to villagers stop him will from die here from to run through. He just keep mm -hmm. running through. Like he didn't have upgrades before. Now he runs right through to the wood line. More stables from Gajamata. Gajamata has shot out of a cannon here to punish Vasco. Vasco's about to lose this TC. Oh, he does he see the villagers the going out? There's villagers leaving for Vasco. On the south side of his TC's base, done. that TC does crumble. He tries to replace the fourth one. And oh, he saw it! He saw it! The Mangonels are coming over! Oh, no! I think TC will go up. The siege needs to focus somewhere else. Vasco's going to complete this TC. Now, which TC do you even take? It's, it's kind of free pickings. Oh, God. Maybe the TC... We'll go up with more casualties than we thought. Vil, it's a slaughter here, Dave. Vil count is even. How long Gajimata. will it stay up? Yeah. And Dave, it's Gajimata. We know what he's going to do with that stone. There's no doubt in no. our minds what he's going to do with this stone. He, he did it all tournament. Like, he loves the aggressive plays. Vasco de Gama was coasting here 3 0. People called the. Hey, GG years when the scout died <laughs> in Dark Age. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Where are you now? <laughs> Which is so funny to me. It's not a big deal. It's just so funny that people call it GG because oh. the scout dies in Dark Age. Oh god, you're coming to light cap, Dave. What you, he's doing what you suggested before though. He's he's transferring all of that food into light cav. And if the yep. bills are coming forward with the castle and he clears up the mangonels, he clears up the monks, which he wasn't able to do, the light cab might be able to deny that castle, but I don't think it's enough. That knight in the back of his base is so <laughs> annoying. More knights coming in as well. And there's the castle in between three town centers. GG. And the GG is called. Gajamata says, I am not finished. I am not going to be rolled. I have fight. More than anyone else there out there would have a beautiful series all of a sudden. And, and now, Gajamata, he's stuck to his guns. He's got civs saved that have very good win rates on the upcoming maps. Is Vasco da, mm -hmm. da Gama the favorite? Yes. But does he need to change something? Does he need to respect the aggression of Gajamata a little bit more? I, I would also say yes. A beautiful performance from Gajamata because Vasco has made it look so inevitable at times. The reverse sweep is on, Dave. You can't do that. You can't just go for TC. Like that, yeah. against this level of opponent, they're, it feels like they're always going to punish you, especially when you gave them water so they can keep their TCs producing with that extra fish income. And I think if you caught Vasco and asked them that question outside of this set, they'd be like, yeah, that's a terrible idea. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> but he was so confident in himself yep. that he tried to even with maybe the advantage um to castle age and the advantage on water that he had initially the first oh, pick man. for gajamata was armenians a sieve that vasco also picked first pick and played earlier on in the series and we've got armenians for gajamata the first time we've seen armenians played on this map the entirety of the main event and we've got Kamur for vasco de gama who loves his farms dave but i do feel as though Kamur. Definitely a bit of a wild card pick for me here. Why is this sheep going so north? Okay, he's bringing <laughs> it back. I guess he just wanted he wanted to scout the shoreline. He very clearly wanted to scout the shoreline of that middle yeah. island, and that might give yeah. us an insight onto the strategy of Gajamata because that's not this is not normally Tristan. Yeah, this is this not is, normally. Check him PC. Check him PC. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Hmm. I think a lot of players who dock that area tend mm -hmm. to be in a pretty good spot. So maybe he will actually go for a dock off that island. That's a good point. Talk about the Khmer. The Khmer. I talked about the farming, but the big thing for their start is really the fact they don't need to make a barracks here. They can just simply add a range. They can add a stable and they can get to that damage so much faster. And even though it feels like it's a long time ago now, game number one, Vasco de Gama showed uh how strong it is to go for the fast scouts for when he's controlling them i know he's been a bit more boomy the last couple games but i think fast scouts 
is a good option, but the Armenians can build spearmen in the Dark Age. So maybe like spears to defend yourself, some walls for the Armenians, and then playing towards a lot of water control here on Cup could be really strong. Yeah, the, the water tech tree is the best in the game. Um, I think you can make an argument for that for Armenians. The land tech tree against Khmer late game, maybe not the greatest, but still, yeah. if the Armenians are going to win this, it's probably going to be in the Feudal Age or the Castle Age. It's probably not going to be an imp here. Yeah, I agree with you there. Yeah, this is a game that usually doesn't end in Feudal, rarely ends in Castle Age. That's been the theme. But man, dude, like... We have really been blessed with a, with a solid series here. We've had a couple in Hidden Cup 5 where it, the the one player gets off to a really fast start and everyone's mm -hmm. kind of like, okay, this is over. These guys are going to give up. How could they ever have it's a chance? Find the vill? And then they turn it around and yeah, there goes that vill. So that is definitely for the doc we talked about on the... Uh, oh, 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 okay, never mind. He's going to decide to place the doc there instead. Yeah, and Vasco, once again, choosing to take the scout fight. Like, they've had a scout yeah. battle in Dark Age almost every... Have they every single game? Feels Except like Except the yes. Which then yeah. they had a scout battle in Feudal Age. <laughs> which is unorthodox <laughs> island, but... Dude, their scouts couldn't fight because they were in transport ships that passed each yeah. other. So... Yeah. <laughs> They were probably <laughs> hurling insults, though, as they sailed by one another. You suck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Coward! <laughs> I was coming to you! <laughs> yeah, that is a really interesting theme, actually. All right, guys, do your homework. Which two players have attacked each other with their scouts in Dark Age more than any other two players? And then we have confirmed who these two participants are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, Mudflow doesn't I mean, count as a water map. Okay, someone tell King Cur Stephen that. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> tell Salim the Grim <laughs> and tell King Stephen and Gajamata. I don't know if he was getting too greedy there, or maybe he has gotten too comfortable with the idea of his scout being dead, because that has happened a lot. Uh, he tries to stop the deer being pushed there, and you should know that TC positions are fixed. So that one right there, that is inexcusable in my opinion, and that's not going to help him. And Vasco could be sneaky out here. I mean, it's not going to get house a villager later. True. True. Could help. Yep. But now, like... But now your you're opponent to knows exactly see... what you're doing. Yeah, basically, you're, you're looking to see, are they going two docks against me? Are they going scouts? Are they going archers? Vasco can get all this information now. He's going to see the dock. And if there is ever a second dock, he will know about it. I think it will be a second dock on this area. The safe approach here, like you don't want to blindly build a dock somewhere that can't support this. So I think the safe approach for Gajamata is just go second dock, eventually wall up, eventually think a little bit about Spearman, but we'll see what he thinks. So with Khmer, Vasco doesn't need to build that barracks. And as soon as he has enough wood, he can actually add that archer range really quick. And if he's going into water control, he's already going to be on wood on wood and gold. So the archer range would be a natural uh, transition there if he was floating some resources. And maybe he could really hit Gajamata's eco without realizing it. That's the sneaky dock. And that's where the sheep was um, patrolling earlier. So maybe that was just the plan from the very beginning. Go for one dock here and then a sneaky dock forward on that side. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's a really interesting decision. Like... I, maybe this is only the plan because the scout's gone down. I don't know. But so far, I mean, I know that Vasco's being really annoying. Like, this is why you don't want this guy to have his scout alive. Just trying to kill Locking fishing it. ships here. Okay, just repair Sir, it. Sir, we can't That's sail. Kind of There's a horse in the way. <laughs> Very uh, historically accurate game we have here. Scouts are going to be on the way from Vasco. I really like Vasco's position. Even using the scouts on the sea here could be helpful, but not knowing the opponent's gone double dock could be problematic for him because the fire galleys could deal with the scouts themselves. So if the walls are down and then it's double dock fire galley against just one dock, Gajimata should and keep most now of his he's, fish alive. 
He's passed another fire galley. He's like, where did that come from? And he's going to have to investigate yeah, right? with his scout. He can't go for Spearman, though, because he hasn't made that barracks. He didn't need to, right? So Spearman can be helpful against the ships, but he can't go for those just yet as he's using the fishing ship to tank some of the damage from the fires. Oh. And he'll come in with the scouts, and he actually wins this with the scouts. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, really nice job there from Vasco. At the same time, he did produce a lot of scouts that aren't running into his opponent's base. And this is giving Gajamata time to get the full walls. It might not look pretty, mm -hmm. but that's what you've got to do here. I, I, this is where I would also love to see a cheeky demo, dude. A demo against groups of scouts would be amazing. Fire galleys have to pull away. Those scouts seem pretty comfortable to be out here. And people have speculated demos on are in this the queue. being Tato. If this is Two Tato, in the queue. these scouts are going to die to a demo. You've got to be careful here if you're Vasco. Vasco, you got to pay very close attention here, my friend. What do you what do you demo? The scouts or do you demo the, the ships? I don't think you catch the scouts. Uh, oh, okay. He's going to take well, one, which is, I think that's, <laughs> honestly, I think that's fine. If you're thinking about resources invested, now you demo the fish. Yeah. You're already fully walled. Yes. You're not super concerned about the scouts. Agreed. Yep. You take the ships. You take the sea. The fires can maybe deal with the rest. Now, the other demo is elsewhere right now, and Vasco has no other choice but to use his scouts on water. And Gajamata is housed. Well, he's not housed now because he just lost units. He's got to flee with his fish, and there's a demo going that way from Vasco. Oh, dude, this could be great. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it, and the demos are going to trade against each other. Yeah, they got bored. There's another demo, though. It's on there the is way. another somewhere. demo somewhere. And the fishing ships are going to block the fires. Can they do it in time? The scouts are, are, are coming from behind. The demo is being attacked by the fire, though. But still, Vasco has to retreat before that demo gets in there. Maybe he <laughs> sacrifices one weak scout for that. He takes his weakest scout and sends it in. Or just sends them all. Okay. I mean, or one scout guy. for one demo is the trade he took before. You know, I I'm look noticing at, Gajimata. Look at the eco, though. Yeah. I'm noticing Gajamata doesn't have near as much on food at the moment. He doesn't farm. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have as much on berries. He is farming a bit, but Vasco de Gama farms everywhere, has collected more of the berries, has done a better job, and still has scouts. So, obviously, lost two straight here, Vasco de Gama, but Vasco de Gama could afford to do so after the three early wins. Advantage Vasco de Gama right now, in my opinion, based on how this game is going. Okay, well, we've got two more demos in the queue. He's trying to build up his Fudico, but it's so tough against Kamur to match the uptime. They just drop a, a bunch of farms really easily with wood that they didn't have to spend on the barracks earlier, right? Wood that they probably won't have to spend on walls because they can hop into their houses. And then their food is coming in instantaneously. So he's going to click up, and Gajimata is probably going to be at three minutes behind to Castle Age. Mm -hmm. yep. Really far behind. Yeah, there's the demo, the demo lands. And you need to have, like, you need to just ensure that you have water control here if you're Gajimata. If you have the water control and you're late to Castle Age, it's fine. If you lose this water control, this is the only thing that's going well for you at the moment. So, but I mean, pretty telling that Gajimata has, what, 100 food in the bank? And Vasco has already clicked yeah. up the Castle Age. There was another instance where Vasco wanted to just drop TCs and boom like a madman, this would be it because that's what he did in the previous this game. Might be it. But he he is, actually has map control now. He's done such a great job with the scouts, man. Like, who thinks, okay, I'm going to win the water with scouts as a supplement unit to my fire galleys. That's actually <laughs> kind of crazy. And, he, and he's gotten so much value with them. Yeah, yeah. You know, a player who used to do this a lot in the past was MBL. It was old meta, like back in Hidden Cup 2 days. So, I don't know, like six years ago, five years ago now. But MBL used to love that. And I know that there are some players being guessed that love to make their scouts, oh. but it just really seemed like the combination was very well executed here from Vasco. And he does toss away another weak scout there. Really smart to do that. Because, again, a 2 HP scout against the demo is totally worth it. And now he kills the villager as well. So when Vasco gets to Castle Age, Gajimata is going to click up. 
very demoralizing Yikes. feeling. But there I mean, is a barracks being added. What do you think about positive here? Just like a you... pikeman siege push through the middle. I I like it. Uh, not knowing your opponent has a dock could lead you to running into a demo. But here here's a positive. Mm -hmm. You can research pikemen now if you're Gashimata being the mm -hmm. Armenians. So early pikemen upgrades possible. If you can have pikes now, that's all you're going to want in Castle Age anyways. So that's okay. What you won't have is a second TC. What you won't know is that there's a forward siege workshop there from Vasco. I love this from Vasco. He's kind of reversing the role here. The previous game, he got punished for sitting behind walls. And now he's going to be the one on the offensive. Stable. Stable. All right. Okay, so Spearman is Knights, coming out. If possibly... that Spearman goes... If that Spearman goes to the right and finds this, at least he'll have some warning. I don't think it I think, will. That's. I mean, really he... Tough. I have a memory of Gajamada against Gregory the Seventh on day one, or day two, whatever it was, and he sensed a forward. I think with the way the scouts are moving, he knows something's up here. It is awfully quiet, mm -hmm. and the scouts have been hitting the house and then going back the other way. It doesn't feel natural, Dave. Oh, here it comes. And he's going to look. He's looking like this this player whoever he is has the game sense to know this could be a forward he sees the scouts he sees the build there's no reason for a villager to be there there's definitely going to be buildings in the darkness and gajamata knows it yeah so now confirmed because the magnal yep. comes in it doesn't actually kill that build but a nice attack round there from vasco will make sure that he gets her at the end of the day and it's double stable Double stable, wow, and a fortified church behind. That will help a lot. Somewhere to put the villas. It's going for the quick walls. Things are getting locked down, but there's still a hole there. You can't let the light oh, cap God. through. No, you just oh. can't let him through, bro. Well, well, hold on. The, the fortified church huh? arrows are helping. The spear is also there as well. It could have been way worse. And there's no monks here yet for Vasco. So if Vasco doesn't have any monks, Without the proper attack ground, as he does land one, the, the siege could get taken out. So it, it could have been the worse. Scout is so there too, far. denying the monastery. The timings yeah. are all kind of messed dead. up here for Vasco a little bit. The siege is dead. What a pushback here from Gajamata. And Vasco is still only on one town center. He didn't go for that greedy boom, but he will get the monastery up, which will mean that the knights are a lot harder um, to get value with those once the monks are on the field. Water control still there on the other side for Gajamata. Still has fishing ships. Remember, this player was down 3-0. Everyone was writing him off. Everyone. And he's here now. It's 3-2. The populations are similar. The res collected. Very close as well. Second TC comes up. Eco starts to get balanced. Looking around now next to the monastery has killed quite a few light calf. I'd like to see some scouts added now because you know monks could come out. But it's amazing, mm -hmm. Dave, that he's ended up in this position where he is somehow right on top of these buildings. Vasco de Gama is going to be regret not mixing in the monks a bit earlier. Yeah, you, light cap still getting value. Of course they do. Vasco always finds value with those light cap. And the okay. game is paused here. It is if live. This is a sorry go. If this is a sorry go from Vasco de Gama, Hera confirmed. Okay. This is a sorry okay. go from Vasco de Gama. Okay. Yep. Okay. He didn't say sorry. Ready. Go. He said ready. It was a. It was a. It was a pause. Probably just had a cat on the mm. keyboard or hot key. You know something. We're back in business here. Maybe mm. checking the Khmer tech tree to see how good is my navy. <laughs> Honestly, could be a very relevant thing to check right now. Look at this game that Vasco is playing. He's in and out of the house. But Gajamada knows there's a monk in that monastery and does not want those monks to be able to get conversions. You got to expect the monk and kill the monk right when it hops out here, Gajamada. He's looking around. He's waiting for it. The vill's the distraction. He's still Dude, waiting Bosco. for it. The monk's going to come. Bosco's done such the a other good direction, job with maybe? this villager, too. Oh, my goodness. Really Look at this. Like He's Gajimata's trying to make himself a little, a little hut. Oh, what a play. What a play here from Vasco. He actually walls off the monks so he can get the conversions. And now his siege hops out, and he kills the monk from Gajamata. That was amazing there from Vasco. Just crazy that that's even something that enters someone's mind. It, it doesn't lead to the game ending or anything, but he could have lost the push otherwise. I mean, that was insane. The villager just kept hopping in and out of the house, and he was trying to distract him. He was waiting for the monk. He was just buying himself enough time for double monks. 
and manages to snipe that knight too before he pulls back. Vasco's incredible, bro. That was yeah. what a play from him. And he even got the monk from Gajimata with his own Mangonel, but now Gajimata is making life difficult because there's no house here to hop inside for Vasco. And while he's out at that second town center, he's going to lose some villagers. Dave, this could go to a game seven. We could actually we could see have a reverse, reverse sweep, sweep on potential. Our hands. This is unreal. In a best Gajimata. of seven refuses to freaking die no one knows who this guy is everybody else everyone's got a strong guess but hidden cup five gajamata gains the villager lead still has the fishing ships and vasco's got to feel it dude now like when you're 3 -0 up you're living the dream you're thinking MO. about your victory speed but now it's yep. you got to be like oh god what has happened here oh boy I mean, Vasco is still pushing on this side. We, Gajamata, the game is very even at the moment. Gajamata still needs to defend, but he's found himself some eco damage. Eco Kitty is eight to eight right now. Can't let yep, your villagers get converted though. Yeah. Or well, I mean, actually, that's fine though, because now the monks can't convert knights. He's stealing farms. So now Gaj, now Gajamata can leave leave the villas and just go out and kill the monks. I'm not sure why Vasco did that. Those two monks should be dead now. And, I mean, the villagers continue to not be cared about. Yeah, those, those are two dead monks now. I think you always take that here if you're Gajamata. And the other monks exposed as well. And, you know, the threat the of counterattack is, is going to be insane now as well. Beautiful for, for mm -hmm. Gajamata. Really, really solid job there. 62 villagers for Vasco. We've got 56 villagers plus four fishing ships here for Gajamata. But once again, Vasco, the food is incredible, right? Even yep. though he's playing with Khmer, it's still super, super impressive. He's always got the farms behind any push or any damage that he's taking. The Ooh. macro is insane for this guy. 39 Ooh, farms. Knights going against the Navy. There's demos out in the middle and the demos are gonna connect. And if there was a second connection, more Knights could have gone down. Honestly, great job from Vasco to realize that and split away. This is now the area of the map, which becomes really important. And back to our player guesses, by the way, there is a player who loves his demos. We've seen quite a few demos come out recently from Gajamata, and he's continuing to queue up more. That's all I'm saying, people. The viewer votes have said that this is Tato in the red all week long. There have been some doubts planted into people's minds from some pros, and we've had those discussions on stream, but it's about to be a big night battle. I... I I'm surprised we're not seeing Gajamata go pikemen. Like with Armenians? Woo woo woo. W with Armenians, you can actually go Halb in Castle Age. So to not even have pikemen right now is a surprise to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's just going knights against knights versus Khmer, right? It's very Ooh. unorthodox. He gets another couple light cab over on that side, but loses the monk in the process. I, I yeah. think the focus for Gajamata will likely be the knights here. And the monks at the beginning and then a shift onto navy because when you compare the navy from both of these yeah. sieves the armenians come oh, out God. on top they've got the drones you gotta get those monks away. Oh, you gotta no! get those monks away you gotta get those monks away the demo kills three monks and vasco says how do you like it huh how do you like it and has some monks at home big engagement plus two attack is in for gajamata he's gonna stick around to kill some monks he's gonna run away with his knights I like that fight for Vasco, and I also like how the game is flowing. In a night war, I'm leaning towards Khmer and not the Armenians, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. Gajamata continues to add more and more stables. He just doesn't seem like he cares. Great eco expansion behind for Vasco while all of this is yep. going on, and three stable yep. night production is incredible. The armor not even coming in until this stage speaks very to me of one particular player who doesn't yeah. seem to respect the blacksmith upgrades as much as many other people do. Um, but he's going to click up to Imperial Age soon. In a and night Gajimata war, though... It's going to have to try and match the timings. Yeah, like the number numbers is king, right? Numbers is king in a melee engagement. I think upgrades and ranged engagements matters a bit more. Still just more knights from Gajimata. And the Khmer farm should be bringing in food faster than the Armenians can do. Mm -hmm. Armenian Knights do not get the same upgrades as the Khmer Knights do long term. We are going to see an expansion there for Gajamata. But now the upgrades are flying in for Vasco, and now he's willing to take the fight. And the Light Cavs swoop in looking for any monks. There's not many, but the one that is there dies. And Vasco does not want this to go to the seventh game because that would be the home map for Gajamata. And he's going to dive here 
kind of awkward for him to engage. But he is going to re-engage here, which... Well, okay, well, they're both going to take the fight here. I actually think Vasco's winning the fight. I'm surprised Gajimata thinks that he's going to win this fight. He's heavily outnumbered. And this might be the series right here, Dave. Oh my god, why are you still taking this? Is he busy somewhere else is the question. Like, why are you taking this? Why are you taking this? It was so clear you were going to lose that. He does have yep. iron casting, so maybe he was kind of focused on that. He must or maybe not have he known his opponent had the upgrades. Yeah, he must have yeah, thought I, I have Maybe he did an casting. upgrade check long like time ago. Like a minute ago. ago. And, it, it, and, yeah. Then, yeah, and then they came in. Yeah, it's that's probably weird. what it is. Little late for Pikeman now because the night number is snowballing. You got to hope for some conversions. And you have to hope for your own knights, but more and more knights for Vasco. He is going to drop a TC there. So both players are going to have TCs in that area. Gajimata is sending a knight over there. Like, I got to applaud this guy's creativity and his awareness. Finding the it. knight going to that TC yeah. is an epic find. Quick and the quick wall doesn't, doesn't get go it. down here for Vasco nice. da Gama. And Fosco's like, wow. I want to I wanna get that knight, but I can't send 30 units at the same time. As we see yeah, the demo yeah, yeah. here, the monks, you were calling it. You knew the demo was in the queue, and yep, there it is. And they're if those gone. monks would be at home right now, if those three monks were at home healing up and potentially getting conversions could be a really big deal. But Gajimata has always had mm -hmm. his mind on the counter attack here. That's what gave him a chance after a rough start. Does get a conversion, but Vasco on the way to Imp. Now... I'm going to repeat myself here. You can get Halbs in Castlage with Armenians. You don't need Imp to win this. If you start to make He's that switch of a combination of Knights and Halb, you could stay in Castle against the Khmer here, Dave. I think wow, what Vasco what? needs to do in this situation, like getting up to Imp is fantastic. <laughs> he actually sold his stone to get up to yeah. Imp a little bit faster. So he's a little bit later on that castle. He could potentially go for a castle in that marshy terrain in the pond. Because yeah. if your opponent ever pushes you back and then gets docks up there with Armenians, you're, you're in big trouble. Big, yeah, big true. trouble. You can't let them have water control. He's actually going to choose to shut down the water at the top. <gasps> and try and uh, get... Oh my god, fires nuke. Castle foundations when they're just placed. Yeah, That's that why been Tristan's bad. gasping. We've seen it before. <laughs> There's also demo. a demo from Gajamata. <laughs> Gajamata knows there's a castle on the way. But Dave, Gajamata, I think, knows this is bad. And he says, okay, I can't address the army on the front. This is the best thing for him to do. That's the empty C. Can you imagine? Yeah, he's that is the empty C. Oh, God. That oh, been man. Sick. I mean, there was actually a chance there that he could have denied Imp. The knights are coming this way. The demo's coming this way. It will be too late. The castle will go up. And Vasco is reacting to this. He's not reacting no in that though. area, though. So these yeah, kills no are going to be pretty no valuable. No fletching for the castle or the yeah. town centers. And his entire army now, with the Imperial Age advantage, his entire army has to come back to deal with it. Look yeah. at how many knights are in defense. That's this a lot crazy. of dead bills. Yeah. Now, I mean, eventually, you, you are, like, pushing the uh, future payments here down the line. You know, future use problem here. Uh, you're running on credit if you're Gajamata because, you know, you still haven't dealt with the Knights. But at least for now, you know, you get to party it up in the opponent's base. You get to distract them, and those Knights will come back to your base later. There we have some units go down. I, again, I got to say it. You got to go for Halb. Like, Halb here mm -hmm. would be sick. We've got to see at least Pikeman. I like the castle from Gajamata. But, you know, now he's got 13 Knights. It's 40 Cavalier for Vasco. Great job for Vasco to clear it up. I like the raids from Gajimata, but uh, still a whole lot of pain coming. Still not even the second wood upgrade for Armenians. It's so painful. Yep. So painful with 103 villagers. Oh, wow. and the I mean, White Cavern, the, the Cavalier are in on the sides. He wasn't walled there. He chopped through everything. Oh, Knight's coming back to no. defend it. Oh, no! Feels like Vasco da Gama with this raid is going to go to the finals of Hidden Cup 5 tomorrow. And the GG is called. And Gajamata is finally killed off by somebody. Vasco da Gama wins 4-2 in our first semifinal. And honestly, Dave, it doesn't come as a big surprise to me how good he's nope. been, how clean he's been, how, how solid he's played overall. It's been amazing. But uh, my salutes go out to Gajamata because he 
is a fighter. I thought he was done for earlier on in the day. He gave us more games. And he was close in this one. Like a couple things go differently in this game. And he actually has a way to take us to a game seven. Yeah, Vasco is just incredible, dude. Like th there's no doubt in my mind that the best Age of Empires we've seen so far in this tournament has been from Vasco. He yeah. has been setting the standard for everybody else. He has only lost three times so far in the entire tournament. And he's through to the finals as we see the game that opened it up. I mean, this was a disaster for Gajimata. Credit to him for even bringing it to six games after you lose the well, first one like this. Yeah, I mean, and this is the type of thing that never happens to Vasco, right? It never happens to players who eventually become champions. You can't have a game which is an 18-minute wash, unfortunately. And that's what mm -hmm. this was. If this game was was competitive, this game was closer, who knows? We're looking at a 3-3 now instead of the 4-2 win for Vasco. But yeah, Vasco, I mean, played that clean. This game was amazing, though. Like, this game, I, I don't know how Vasco won. The aggression from Gajimata was incredible. And he, he brought a strategy that Vasco had never faced before, that we had never seen before. We had the forward villagers, the fighting villagers, the skirm, the spears. And what was there, five villagers there taking resources for Feudal Age? And it still didn't matter? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was just a wild game. I, it, Gaja ignored his own island, it felt like. His own starting spot. He just focused everything onto the other side and onto water, and he got punished for it so bad. Vasco constantly have military there. The demo doesn't really connect here against the crossbows like he wanted it to. Some of those demos a little bit suspect. If we're thinking it's Tato, he missed yep. quite a few. And then the we eco do a vote. steamrolling everything here for Vasco. And that was really the theme. It's like Vasco, any small moment that vasco has that's positive for him he opens up with a crazy eco every time mm. he's oh, played hidden forts he has done this yeah we got double rhino coming in this could have been so bad he had to save that bill and now that bill's getting blocked by the ass of the other rhino and then somehow didn't lose any of these villagers and it got it was close um did lose a bill here but ultimately vasco stuck to the plan and uh i mean this is impressive but you lose your scout maybe it's not worth it and vasco is just flying on tcs after this mm -hmm. dead scout there definitely highlight worthy <laughs> take that <laughs> family that's uh one of the few and mistakes then of course vasco the denied made castle the <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah beautiful denied play. castle back here with paladin on the way and all of those stables critically on the left side so no vision for his opponent. Saracens can counter the Paladin quite easily if they have the Camel Mass. But he didn't know yep. it was coming. He didn't know. How are you supposed yeah, to counter something? Know. You don't. You don't know it's coming. This is hilarious. And this is when this series really started to turn into a series. Just passing. Just passing. See you later. Also, Vasco de Gama shows up on the wrong island. Was very confused. Mm -hmm. We had sheep getting attacked underneath the TC. Again, to my point, I mentioned about this Gajamada player. So many people don't have the same fight left in them when they're down 3-0. And he brought just as much fight. It was a sloppy game. And we we had Vasco without gold on his main island, but taking the gold from Gajamata on his island. Um, archers dying to villagers, villagers dying to archers, scouts dying to villagers. I mean, we had the scouts get transported back home. <laughs> it's a really hard game. If you didn't watch it, these highlights are probably confusing you right now. But uh, yeah. definitely encourage the rewatch. Gajimata basically was just like, I'm never going to let you rest. And that is eventually what ended up working here. But, I mean, this this could have changed it too. If the elephant gets converted, then maybe the or TC gets Or if he repairs the palisade wall. Yeah. yeah, if he repairs the palisade wall, none of that happens. But, I mean, great pressure from Gajimata. You got to remember he was pushing on the other person's island at the same time. Micring away from the longboats, which were a constant threat to his crossbows, but he kept yep. the crossbows alive. And that was so critical because Vasco didn't have any land military to push that back. He was all yeah, on the and water. Eventually, eventually the GG was called. Now we've got boats, but we've got boats come game number um, five. And it still felt inevitable. Like right there, Vasco gets the great kill. Remember, Vasco killed the scout from Gajimata. 
and went for this crazy boom. And Gajamata's like, nope, not today, dude. Not against me, for I am Gajamata. I'm not giving up. I'm going to cast a, not one, not two, but three of your TCs. And then the GG's called immediately after this. Like Vasco da Gama just was too greedy. Sure, he's gotten away with it before. Didn't get away with it there. And then this game, I really liked how Vasco used the scouts in combination mm -hmm. with the Navy because he only had one dock initially. So the scout addition, maybe new meta here in combination with Navy, I'm not sure, but it, it made it look so easy. And then here, he was just in Castle so much faster, Dave. Yeah, it was great awareness from Gajamata to know that there was a forward there to send the Spearman out and find that. But like you kept saying, we never saw pikemen we never saw help from armenians which could have done a lot here against the Khmer. and instead he went into the knights as he finds himself a great engagement against the the Maginot early and it's really easy for the Khmer player to just simply match the knight numbers yeah it was amazing this was sick dude those monks had no business getting anywhere near conversions never mm -hmm. but ended up taking a pretty good fight and the theme behind all this, more knights, more army. I think Gajamata will be kicking himself a little bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, he clearly thought he fight. had upgrades over his opponent here. Because he deleted part of his walls, and he misjudged it horribly. And, and then at that point, it felt like, well, you take a fight like that, Bosco's going to win. And Bosco did eventually win the series 4-2. Um, well... A great semifinal. Some some amazing games. The maps have delivered. We've had so much diversity in styles here. But Vasco da Gama moves on, and he is our finalist. We have uh, a, another semifinal coming up that at least, based on all the games I've seen, based on what I'm seeing, I think will be closer than the one we just saw, which says a lot. If we look to the bracket here, it's going to be Kozral against Alexios Komnenos. Uh, should be a, a ridiculous series. And the winner, of course, will be going up against Vasco da Gama tomorrow. Uh, the loser will be up against Gajamata. So that is not the end of what we will see of Gajamata. The, the day tomorrow starts off with a third place match, guys. So potentially 11 games tomorrow as well before the big reveal, which is kind of the whole point of Hidden Cup. So as... Um, Why does it say 4-1? 4-2, put some respect. What are we production? Put what are we some doing? Respect on his name. What is happening? All right, folks, uh, this is going to be awkward, but we're gonna, just going to have to scrap the whole production team. Um, Everything's we, over. We, the quality is going to go downhill, but I think I think with after that disrespect towards Gajimata, we're going to have to do it. Yeah. Uh, sheesh. I mean, clearly rigged, right? Clearly rigged. Hey, don't make a mistake. We'll notice it, but um. But yeah, hey, listen, it's a great semifinal. Dave, I'll let you take a little break here because we got another semifinal coming up. I got some things to say. People, thanks for being here. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, I Oh, we have to do the polls yet. Okay, we'll keep Dave here for the polls, then we'll take our break. Uh, let's see what people think these, these who, who people think these players are. Who is Vasco, people? Who is Vasco? Vote Hera. away on who won that. You're saying Hera? I I... You know what? I thought it was Hera from the very first game that Vasco played in the round of 16, and nothing yes. I've seen has changed my mind anywhere yep. along the way. I agree. I think if this was like three or four years ago, I might say there's a pretty heavy chance you've got the Viper there. I'm not mm -hmm. seeing the same crisp play from Viper these days. I see a little bit more adaptive play. The snake also relies a little bit more heavily on some quick walls here or there. Hera, the farming eco's there. The consistency's there. I am also leaning towards Hera, and the viewers have voted Hera in every single round we've seen Vasco da Gama. So it's pretty telling, I think. If people know what they're talking about, if we know what we're talking about, it is likely him who has gone to the finals. But uh, Now, Gajamata might be the biggest question mark for these semifinals because i'm uh -huh. still not sure man i'm yeah, still I, not sure i i don't yeah. know who it is i could see it being multiple players but yeah. but the bigger story which we don't have a ton of time to discuss is like whoever you don't think it is 
must have gone down big time at some point. Like, yep. we'll see what the, the polls are going to be. I'm expecting, I don't want to sway votes here. I'm expecting the polls here for Gajamata to be split between three names. And we're going to have it up on screen now. Just dive right into it here. But like, one of the names that's going to be voted on here in the top three must have gotten, must have been Gregory the Seventh. must have lost in the first round or something. Something happened. Vote away, people. You can vote on YouTube as well. But uh, we're seeing okay. Yo so, votes fly in, ACCM votes, yeah, and then who, uh, Tato votes. Who I'm thinking, Yo, ACCM, Tato. But I'm, I have to stay humble, and I'm not 100% convinced that it's one of those i'm I'm fairly sure it could still be someone like jordan it could still okay. be someone like vinchester as yeah. well yeah yeah um and it's just kind of i don't it's so difficult bro it's so tough it could be barl's playing absolutely out of his mind but yeah. i'm not certain about that with the drafts I, I i don't know it could be a rare sebastian um Maybe. or a sato or a Sato. Like, I, I'm not seeing heart tendencies or Leary tendencies or Viper tendencies. Nope. Um, or MBL or Doubt. Or MBL yeah. or Doubt. We can but eliminate everybody some. else. So it could be like any of eight or nine players here. But I'd like to remind yeah. people that week after the first round, everyone said Tato. Second round, less people voted for Tato, but it was still Tato. And I think this is going to be close, dude. I think we're going to have like a 45% Tato. It's 35% Tato, 28% Yo, and 17% ACCM. That is, is crazy that we have made it this Let's far go. and people are that uncertain. Yep. Wow. Welcome to Hidden Cup, everyone. Stay humble. Stay, Stay humble. Stay humble.